currently everybody else is muted, but welcome back to Legends of Nordareth. Um, last time we wrapped up the Basilisk Hunt and said farewell to a couple of party members and also kind of ran into a bit of a conundrum with a uh, certain somebody who is cashing in on something that we weren't supposed to do. But anyway, or not something that we weren't supposed to do, something that the party had decided we didn't want to take part in, but anyway. Aside from that, I'm probably not doing the best to explain this. I'm going to go ahead and switch on over so that uh, we can hear how everybody else is doing. So, give me a second. Um, hello? Oh. Hey! Oh. Hello? Hi! Hello. Yes. yes! How are we all doing? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> I am alive! We... <laughs> I'm still kind of backpedaling over the uh, the the cult of the Dolor. Um, <laughs> yeah, we were talking about that before. Case. Was that was that text to speech? That's yeah. That was, that was Tixel using a text to speech bot. All right, see you later, Tixel. <laughs> and I'm also gonna disconnect this. All right, there we go. Bye. <laughs> Anyways, I suppose I should also change uh, the music now that we're out of the um, now that we're actually starting proper. <laughs> Yeah, uh, do, 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 do. we are live too, so. <laughs> yes, hello everyone. Oh, I, hello. I'm definitely a professional. I'm not a professional. <laughs> no, um, I don't think any of us are professional. <laughs> bold, of, bold of people to assume that we're professionals. <laughs> me, 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 uh, me, 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 me. Yes, it's true, <clears throat> we bold of them. Yes. <laughs> I was oh. trying not to do that. <laughs> Do, do, do. Where is it? There it is. This is what I'm looking for. I've also tried to adjust volume levels for everybody so that everyone should be a bit louder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because like I said, I got a new mic. I got a new headset, so I'm working with audio and things and voice. And then... Oh, wrong one! Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're having technical difficulties. Please stand by. <laughs> this is normal. This yeah, this, this is pretty normal. This is pretty par for the course. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I mean, I can't. Yeah, that's yeah, that's great. That's true. As much as I hate to, to admit it. I won't bug you again. So. Oh yeah, we All also right, have a new overlay. Now? We also have a new overlay. So that's fun. Wait, we do. Yeah. Hang on, let me see. Yeah. Ew. I didn't check. I I, I, sh okay. I showed you the overlay. I showed you the oh, overlay. Oh, you did. Oh my, I'm so sorry. Yes, I do recall this. <laughs> How do I see this? It looks very good. It's on it Twitch. It's it's on, it's on the it's on the stream. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's great at the time. So, for the people that are not new, uh, what does everyone rec uh, what does everyone recall from last session? Uh, we hunted the basilisks. That's yep. correct. We got one. We have one as a pet now. His hey. name is Bucky, and he tried. And he's gonna try to bite us. He's probably yeah. He's staying with the Beastmasters Guild because we can't really take he's care of him. <laughs> but he's technically ours. Technically. Technically, yes. He he has been captured. He is yet to be um tamed. Yeah. We uh. She scared off a bear. Correct. I scared yep. off a bear. The, and then I um, woke up my entire woke up the entire party and now we're Venor was there. We we and, spoke to Venor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Who and uh, in on the Rosie thing. got yeah, Rosie mm -hmm. got called away for family business. And Lumi joined the Beastmasters Guild. Correct. There was also some downtime yeah. for people who, because it wasn't on stream, so. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. And it's kind of plot important uh, for some of it. <laughs> yeah. So bo both vigilance and Kime had a little bit of downtime as we were waiting for uh, the new party members to arrive, which we'll get to in a minute. Also, a uh, steeping stars, if you could enter the roll twenty, please. <laughs> I'm I'm on roll twenty. Wait, you are? Uh, uh huh. Did you join the game? Oh, you have to actually Did launch the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there okay, you go. Well, I was okay. on the website. <laughs> okay, why are there, why are there two vigilance tokens on the roll twenty map? Wait, are there? 
Wait, are there? There's one by, there's one by Lucian's cottage and one by the and one by the guild. Oh. Um. Whoopsie. You saw nothing. <laughs> but that that's what Lucian did during his day. That, not, not, that's what Vigilance did during his downtime. I just called <laughs> my character. <laughs> I cannot talk. I, uh, <laughs> wrong well, purple I'm over wrong, here. Um. Wrong purple tiefling, Ren. <laughs> wrong purple tiefling. <laughs> that's not. Wait. What? <laughs> Critical role. Oh, right. <laughs> but his name wasn't. His name wasn't. Anyway. Hey. Um. Uh. Oh, oh, also sleeping. Just remember to not allow it to use your mic and or uh, camera. Yeah, it, in uh, Rough Twenty, because that's also another thing. It, it will glitch yeah. out stuff. If, if there, yeah, if there's like a little pop up that says like, "Hey, do you want to use your mic and all that stuff?" No. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, we are definitely not professionals. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy our bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So yes, there was downtime. Uh, Ke both Kime and uh. uh I said Volca. Vigilance uh, had some downtime. Now I got me fucking up your name. <laughs> so, uh, what did both of you do during said downtime? Um, Vigilance tried to get one of those spider robot things repaired. Um, mm -hmm. and he's gonna have to wait like a couple weeks to see if that's even possible. Correct. And then he decides to uh, speak to uh, Fenris Lucian about possibly learning the art of deception, and failed miserably. Well, at least for the first week. Yeah. He's... Oh, I didn't even write it, but I was... He was going to write a letter to Peyton. I haven't written it up yet, but you got the gist, though, right? So. Yeah, yes, I, I got it. It's fine. It's fine. I, I got the gist of it. Okay. And then... And then Kime? Kime is learning how to cook. Hey! Yeah, because I don't really know why she's doing that. I just it was just like I think he may should learn how to cook, and then she, now she's learning how to cook. Fair enough. Was there anything else they did? Uh, I I can't remember if, if I actually like went through on the whole trying to train the basilisk thing over that. No, you did not. There was you talked to one other NPC though. I believe. I think I I talked. To... Did... I talked to? I forgot. My mind is... <laughs> uh, you talked to Fumarillus. Oh, which yes. Is... We, we, we talked about... We talked about what maybe the... The, like... The... the, the what's its name? Nature? The, the thingy. The straw... Which <laughs> thingy? There's man. multiple. Oh, the scare... Oh, the leggy. The, the leggy, Leggy, yes what the leggy is and like if it's a, if it's a person or not and if i and if i should ask for its gender and pronouns the next time i see it you know normal things yes and, uh, and for, yes uh and that's pretty much most of what you guys did uh but d during downtime for over the past uh, next five or so days at this point it is around the Oh shit, I don't actually remember what time it was before. <laughs> before the, the time skip. We still haven't had that Halloween party. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, I believe it is, uh, you know, if if someone ever looks back into the into the VODs and says, like, um, actually, it's this time. Look, this it's been a year. It feels like it's been a year. Um, <laughs> the, don't know. I believe the, the, we are starting the game back at around the, the 11th of Portum. Which is basically October, so there's still about Who there's still about another few weeks left in the month before the before the Salwin celebration. Rate, at this rate, we're gonna have Halloween like on the actual day of Halloween. At this point, Pre that'd be fun. Pretty much, yeah. That'd be that fun. Would actually, uh, that would be fun. What? What? Let me check my cat. Like, what? What? What day does Halloween fall on? Oh no, it's like a Sunday. I'm gonna. Uh, it's Sunday. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna be handing out candy. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. That could still be the Halloween episode. Could be. It could be. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, if the if the stars align, but yes. Uh, either way, the uh, the the uh, owners of the Oak Beacon Adventurers Center, or uh, the the League of Grand Brave Travelers, as they've as they've taken the naming themselves, uh, have LGBT. yes, that, or LGBT for short. Uh, they have decided <laughs> to yes. They uh, after uh, two of their their party members have since. Uh, left oak beacon for personal reasons and are and uh don't know exactly when they're going to be back 
uh, they had acquisitioned for uh, basically increased backup and support in terms of maintaining and running the Adventure Center. Uh, and presuming ni presuming uh, Vigilance and Kime don't aren't really that great at the paperwork side of things. No, nope. Kime can like Kime okay. like just learned common like Kime just learned common like this year, so she there's obviously some like legal legally she does not understanding. Gotcha. Gotcha. Considering you Vigilance guys don't actually have. Yeah, considering you guys technically don't actually have a broker or anything along those lines, uh, you basically had Scott Grim, uh, Throdrag do it, the older dwarven brother. Yeah, figures. Uh, <laughs> who usually runs the bar, and he's just like, uh, you know, as he just filled out the applications and basically filing out a contract to uh, hire two more adventurers. And, you know, time passes, you guys did your downtime, all that fun stuff. And uh, eventually, uh, the uh, a familiar site well, actually, hmm, it actually might be a different site, thinking about this. Uh, there, there is eventually one morning on the 11th of Portum, which I believe is a Wednesday? No, it's a Monday. Uh, the first day of the week, uh, that you actually do also start to hear some commotion outside in the town square. Once again, at least for both uh, Vigilance and Kime. All right. Kime, before Kimmy goes out, she's definitely gonna mumble under her breath. Please don't be another thing against us this time. Please, no. Yeah. She's gonna go outside. <laughs> Vigilance is gonna be like standing like underneath the awning of the thing, kind of looking at whatever's going on. Okay. Kimmy's going uh... to. Kimmy's is gonna like walk right up to it, but she's probably gonna like hang in the back until she sees what it, what it is, and not like actually like go to the front. She's just like That's she's fair. tall. She she can look over over people's heads. Just, you know, in that case, in the back. In oh that God, case, he, I would. He was an Enderman. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I, would, I would like both of you guys, uh, if you're looking out the window or peering out of this crowd, I'd like you both to roll a perception check. All right. Uh, Here we go. Where am I? Perception. I suck at that. Hey, how do I? What? You have a plus two? To... Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ironically enough, uh, it's Akime that ends up seeing this. As uh, you're the actual, oh, no. you're taller than a lot of the people here in this crowd, considering it's mostly humans, uh, humans and shorter. So uh, you know, you kind of just like lean, like get up on your tippy toes and peer over the crowd, and uh, you do see actually a cart uh, at the at the far end, surrounded by people. However, it is. It is not nearly as vibrant or, decor or decorated as uh, the the cart that you recall, uh, at least uh, your troll companion's cart to be, and it is also pulled by a different creature, albeit a, albeit also a very a, also a different um, large reptile. As you actually see a large uh, bluish drake uh, with a large like uh, like nose horn, like a rhino on the front. As it's just kind of like uh, waiting there amicably. <gasps> oh, do we see a person manning the cart, or are they just clustered around the cart for no reason? Uh, the cart hasn't opened yet, actually, and it's uh, actually around this point that uh, we pan over to uh, our two new players, as uh, Nari and Ogilvy. So. Uh, the, the two of you, both signing up for the uh, this contract and uh, leaving at the same time, have both essentially been stuck in the same cramped little cart for the past, like, five days. Great. <laughs> for all intents and purposes, like, hmm? I said lovely. Yeah. Uh, and then, I mean, of course, you, there was, you did stop at least to, to get out and set up camp, but for the most part, it was just nothing but staying in the back of this cramped cluttered like trying to find like a proper seating space between like crates and barrels and like knickknacks and bits and pieces and shelves and it's like it's it was a very interesting time and also making sure things didn't fall off um in either way uh the two of uh, the two of you uh, actually uh you're, you're kind of like sitting in this like side compartment uh, compared to like where the like the driver for the carriage is, where it's at the front, uh, and eventually you do see their head poke back. Uh, if I can grab their picture, one moment. You, you're finally awake. 
<laughs> no. You actually do see uh, it is a, a black kobold. God damn it. Uh, yeah. You were trying kobold, to cross the border, yes. weren't you? <laughs> I joke, but that's kind of his voice. <laughs> all right, you two. It is all right. It is, I believe it is time for you to leave. I appreciate the company, but uh, I do have a shop to run, and uh, could I kindly uh, ask you two to uh, get out of my shop? Uh, uh, I love that. Alright. Oh, no. Um, I, I will um, jump out of the, the cart. Uh, excuse oh. me, sorry. I, I, I continue to forget your name every time you say it. What is it? Uh, owl person? Ogilvy. Ogilvy, yes. Uh, could you kindly please get out of my shop? No. He starts rifling through a box. <laughs> <laughs> Roll investigation. Okay, which one's that? Um, okay. Pull up your character sheet. Uh, on the yeah, on the left side you should see a, a box that says skills, and then they're all they're all in alphabetical order. So go so then you can just go down to I. I'm learning. Indeed. <laughs> Got some new players here, so be patient. <laughs> I click on investigation. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna. Whoop, where'd it go? Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Uh, click, hang on. Click on it again. I don't think it. Here you go. Yeah. Ah. And so. <laughs> uh. So you're like, no, I won't. And you go to try to open a, open one of the the crates next to you, and it's like, <laughs> come on, get up! <laughs> and you can't. And you can't get open in time before eventually. Uh. The. Do you see the kobold actually pull out a flintlock pistol? All right, oh. out. I was hoping okay, to be like nice about this, anyway. but could you please kindly leave? I want your box anyway. It's all broken and doesn't open like a box. It's not even <laughs> yes, a box. it is sealed to keep people from stealing things. I wasn't stealing it. I was trying to open the box. He Get like, out! I didn't want to be in here anyway. It smells. Take the fucking crystal with you! <laughs> Can the rest of us outside the carriage hear this conversation? Uh, uh, if you were at the front of the crowd, probably. Um, they are yelling. But, like. uh, yes, but this is inside the car, and you're also at the back of the crowd, unless you start moving forward. Okay. So. That's fair, okay. So we don't hear all this yelling. Yes, however, eventually you do see both... Uh, a, a shorter frog-ish looking creature. Uh, actually, I suppose I can show both of their tokens. Actually, mm -hmm. as you see, a a a a, a short blue uh, frog-like creature, as well as a, a much much taller, uh, dark brown, great horned owl-looking um, humanoid figure walking out. Uh, looking a bit more disgruntled than the previous. Uh, the little frog creature has on its side a little boomerang, and on its back, just this big old bucket. Just, like, a really big bucket with, like, straps. Correct. Like, like instead of a, a, a backpack. Yes. Yeah. This is it's, cool. yeah, they're wearing, uh, looks like some sort of skull helmet. They have, like, it looks like some sort of weird turtle shell as a shield on their back. And then they just have a, a large fuck-off, like, shoddy wooden bucket that they just kind of strapped to their back. <laughs> yeah. Just a, a uh, little frog creature. I suppose also, uh, Ogilvy, if you'd like to describe your, uh, what your character looks like. Oh, yes. So, like Ogilvy uh, does not have much on him at all right now, but he does have a cool-looking duster jacket and a scarf. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're the... also mostly in a reddish-brown color, much like his feathers, so his outfits mm -hmm. are black and red, essentially. They're kind of blending. Ah, right. post-apocalyptic the... owl. Nice. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and the only he's, he's other... Uh, the only thing I would probably uh, would stand out about them is that they also are wearing... Um, a, it looks like some sort of metal anklet with like a large like uh, blue bluish with like like uh, wisps and gradients of yellow in it 
Uh, like yeah. with like a, like a crystal on like their ankle on their ankle near the foot. It is quite the fashion accessory, and I am cool. Mm. And also, and also, you were told to also take a much larger cr crystal with you. Uh, that is also the same color, which o presumably Ogilvy is also holding. Yes, Ogilvy is holding it with his little wing hands. His large wing mm -hmm. hands. Yes. But they're, uh, tucked, the cr yeah. they're tucked the crystal, like in front of oh, sorry. The crystal itself is like about the size and shape of like a carrot, actually. Uh, at least <laughs> the, the, the handheld one. Is it orange too or not? This would be like a, a, a weird cut. Uh, just yellow and blue. Good color for a carrot, but okay. <laughs> it's <laughs> shut up. Um, yes, and then of course it's at this point uh, that you actually see uh, the side, like the the side wall of the uh, the cart, uh, basically flip out open, uh, and then you see in large, like <laughs> in large letters, also flipping up from the other uh, from the top side, uh, these like. Br these like br this big wooden sign with uh, colored in bright paint uh, and like a bright purple that says uh, Essex Enchanted Emporium. <gasps> Essex. <laughs> nope. No, Ro not that I one. Ro Ro you spelled Ezek. it like his name. You spelled it like it's his got name. Z's. It's got Z's, but it's still almost the same. Yes, it is. With, it is two Z's. E Z Z E K. Essex. I think she's just like she this time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enchanted Emporium. Yes. And everyone was like, Come on, come on, for all of you for all your magical goods. Oh, you are here for supplies. Alright, it was first. <laughs> I see. I mean like takes out looks like a takes out a pair of like tiny reading like Ben Franklin reading glasses and like pulls out like just a a, a flip book. Alright, it was for Hey hey, settle down! As, as people are really starting rushing to like the side of the cart. Single file! I like this kobold. So uh, as uh, it's starting a bit more raucous, and uh, the 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 two the two uh, new people to this town, uh, the two new party members, are kind of left there in the dust as as the uh, everyone starts crowding around the cart. Uh, what do you do? Um, okay. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Well, then, um, Ogilvy very would like to stretch his wings first, I think. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it's a bit cramped in there, so you are at least have enough uh, elbow room or wing room to actually stretch them out to the fullest. Yep. All those wingies out. We stretch the tips. Good. Nice. <laughs> What's Nari doing is this is happening uh, and you're just looking at this weird owl person God. that you've had to deal with for the past five days. Uh, Nari, who had basically just ignored this weird owl person uh, for most Fair. of this time, just like um, sniffs around the place a bit, look, um, just trying to get the vibe of um, uh, where we are right now. Not quite knowing what to do. Okay. Um. Which, uh, so, like, are you looking at like the town itself? Are you looking at the environment? Are you looking at the people? Uh, yes. I was asking which one. <laughs> the answer is all of them. She's okay. she maybe a bit overwhelmed. Just like. All right. In that, that case, we'll just have a general perception check. In that case, or actually, actually, in that case, what is your passive perception? Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, well, I mean, the first thing you do see is that there's a lot of humans and elves in this town, apparently, as they're crowding around uh, this cart, uh, curious about a getting supplies and b whatever goods apparently are in there. Uh, this is a, a somewhat quaint. Uh, I was about to say little, but it, it is actually it seems to be getting somewhat larger. It, it's. It's smaller than a hamlet, but, but uh, sorry, smaller than a town, but bigger than like a hamlet, you yeah. know. Um, and obviously, looking around, uh, you see, you see, there are trees and plants and flower beds, and like there are just plants fucking everywhere. Like uh, yeah. it looks like it looks like basically everywhere you turn, someone has planted like a flower bed or like the entire 
city is a garden in and of itself. Oh, yeah. Someone put a lot of effort into the landscaping, apparently. She is vibing with that. Not vibing, however, with the mostly human and elves thing. Just mm -hmm. looks around for the first non-humans uh, in the crowd. Uh, I mean, you do see a few orcs. Uh, a few orcs. There's a, a handful of dwarves. Uh, one or two gnomes. Uh, though you do see, near the very back, you do see, because they do stand out and they're also very tall, uh, yeah. a black dragonborn in armor peering over the crowds. Uh, and looking around at the place. Mm -hmm. Well, and also, um, uh, Ogilvy is still stretching. Nari will just say, hmm, yes, they will do. Follow me, flyer. I, know, I was going to say, that mm. probably will. I will also clarify for Nari, because they were also definitely made aware of this. Uh, apparently, Ogilvy is a criminal. Um, yes. I do, declare, uh, I do declare there are too many people oh, in working on this class. Oh, oh Ryle, uh, we're actually in the middle of a D&D session right now, if you could meet your mic. It's fine. Uh, sorry, yes. <laughs> sorry about that. There we go. Uh, but yes, Nari. Um... To, uh, to explain uh, just a little bit, because your character would have definitely heard, been told this by one of the guards as they hand, as they progressively handed it to the group, quote unquote, uh, is that uh, that crystal that uh, Ogilvy is holding and is also around their anklet, uh, it is basically a security perimeter. <laughs> and uh, if they go outside, excuse me, if they go outside of the particular range of that crystal, uh, they will uh, basically t get a bit of a magical shock. Nice. So, <laughs> well, technically there's two of them. Uh, to clarify, Nari would probably have the other one. Um, yeah. one, of, one of them is to be designed to be installed in the OAC, uh, the Oak Beacon Adventure Center, and the other is to be kept with the party basically at all times. Yeah, I imagine it is one of the way too many things that is currently rattling around in her uh, bucket. Yes, it is. there's definitely at least one rattling around in the bucket. Um, so yes, uh, Ogilvy. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Ogilvy, Nari, are you, are you heading... Uh, are you... Sorry, Ogilvy, are you following Nari? So while Ogilvy was stretching, he was actually just peering peripherally at the people around him. Okay. And he, he sees and hears that Nari has said to follow her, but he's also eyeing some other people that he thinks he can see their coin pouches. All right. In that case, I'll have you roll a perception check to try to find uh, the, the the largest coin pouch that you can see, or what you believe to be coin pouches. 19. Uh, there is at least... Um... Oh, dear. You do see uh, this taller elven gentleman, uh, gold and blonde hair. Uh, he actually also has these, like, Civil War general kind of, like, mutton chops. Actually, as he's looking out, he, he has, like, a, you know, the uh, Italian Renaissance, like, poofy hat as well. Okay. Uh, and he, he has this weird mix of, like, a noble's uniform with, like, armor, like, armor, and like bits and pieces mixed in with it. He looks to be probably the richest person in the crowd, at least visibly. Um, and you can definitely see there is a quite a decently sized uh, coin pouch to one side and a sword to the other. Okay. I start to nonchalantly head in his direction. Okay. What do I roll for that? Are you trying to hide yourself? I'm trying to. Ju I, uh, despite the fact I am a large owl person who has just come out of a great cart thing, I am still trying to remain just nonchalant, non sus. All right. Okay. In that case, uh, I would have you roll a sleight of hand check to see don't if you're able to dis to discreetly walk by walk by this person and try to uh, snatch the coin purse without them noticing. Can I try to snatch the sword? You want the sword? Swords usually cost more. Fair enough. If you'd like to roll a sleight of hand check. 
Okay, let me check something real quick. Mm. Oh god, actually, hang on, I need Because I need to check his stats. Because congratulations, you're robbing an NPC. Um, let me check something here. <laughs> Mainly just checking, does he actually notice you? Because he's not, he's not actively searching. So he doesn't make a roll. So yeah, uh, as you walk by this person, and uh, very, very slowly, very subtly, uh, Pull, pull at the sword handle as you walk as you uh, walk past nonchalantly, and uh, congratulations, you get a handle. That, no. There's no, it doesn't look like there's any blade attached to it at first glance. Uh, it's a beautiful handle though, like uh, you know, it very ornately carved. Looks like either like mahogany or some sort of uh, very expensive wood. There's filigree. Uh, and, and there's like a, a, a large um, white uh, or white yellow almost like cream colored gem uh, encrusted in the in the guard uh, oh, of this hilt yeah uh, and it looks like the actual guard itself there is actually like a metal uh, a, a like like some sort of like steel guard to it with like a uh, a also a steel pommel with engravings and fixings to it it's very elaborate despite it also not having a blade. That's fine. That piece will work. I tuck it into my jacket and just keep on going. I'm not gonna. I'm not stupid. Uh, just, how about you just write a, a sun elf blade on your character sheet for that thing? <gasps> you got it. <laughs> oh. And my notes. All right. So you have a very fancy looking handle as you go past, and uh. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, you rolled above Nari's passive, so they wouldn't notice either. Um, <laughs> unless they were active, unless they were actively looking. Uh, nah, they don't care much about the about the uh, owl criminal right now. Fair enough. So, uh, so yeah, presumably you still follow after Nari uh, wherever the hell they're going yes. after this shenaniganery. Yes. All right. I am looking at other people though. If I'm allowed, if yeah. I'm allowed to do that, I'm still eyeballing. I mean, other I mean, you, there's like there's plenty of other people with like you know like a lot of other uh, looks like workers and like other sort of like lower class folks. Some of them do have coin purses, of course, um, and whatnot, and of course like other like you know self defense weapons at their side uh, and other such things. But like I was gonna say, nothing is on and... Yeah, no, definitely not. That's that. Yeah, no, he, yeah, yeah. I was say, the sun, the, the sun elf dude looks to be the most rich, riches and most expensive person here. Yeah. Uh, at least, at least at first glance. Eat the rich. <laughs> Gosh. Either way. Um, so yeah, eventually Kime, uh, presumably you actually do see both uh, this short frog person as well as a taller owl, uh, owl person. Uh, walk up to you uh, in, from I the crowd. Have I been informed that we're that we're getting new people and that these are the new people that we're getting? Uh, you were made aware that that uh that you were made aware that two people accepted the contract, but you didn't get a description as to who they were. Okay, so I I just think these are strange people walking up to me. Cool. I mean, so... this is the first time you've ever seen a gr uh, a, a frog and an, an and a third owl in this town. <laughs> Cool. It, I think once Kime notices that they're like walking up to her, she'll like wave awkwardly, <laughs> like hi, oh, hi. Um. Uh, yeah, Nari just like continues walking uh, uh, closer until uh, they're within earshot. Hello, we're uh, here for the. We signed the contract. Question, I think. Oh, that's that is uh, you two. Oh yes. Uh, th this way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vigil, vi vigilance, vigilance. Yeah. 
got the, the new people. I just, like, vig I just like to think Vigilance was just standing in the doorway this entire time. Kind of. He was, he was standing, like, right outside the door, like, leaning against the wall, probably. It's just like, it was like, what the heck is even going on? Oh, there's people. <laughs> in that case, I can bring everyone over to the uh, Adventure Center map. <laughs> One moment, please. As I actually get everyone's freaking tokens. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's why they weren't. Okay, now I see. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, I'm I miss I forgot a thing. There we go. Okay. I forgot I to actually not yellow. I forgot to make their the token small for Nari because they're a small creature. Oh, what the? Okay. Uh. So uh, that was a motorbike that just drove by the front of my house. Oh. <laughs> That was part of the birds. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what was that bird? There's strange there's creatures in the woods the nearby. The there's strange creatures smoke. in the woods nearby. It's strange. <laughs> they walk so bird. strange and mysterious. <laughs> there's a there's a plume of smoke from the blacksmith shop. Sword tail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. Where is oh there he is. Okay. All right, in this case, and here, where is it? Oh god, there we are! And uh, also for uh, the two new uh, the two new players here, you also see at the front door, uh, one, a, a darker-skinned human gentleman, uh, looks to be about middle-aged, uh, maybe around his uh, early, mid-40s, uh, with, um, you know, his dreads back up in a ponytail, uh, and, uh, and also very clearly in a uh, d very decently heavily equipped with weapons and armor. And next to them, you actually see a large, uh, almost looks like a rhino beetle person standing about a solid like seven feet tall uh, with like two two large uh, swords at each uh, at each side of his waist as he's just like. Uh, leaning back against the wall and just looking out at the the group. Fun. Does he have anything cool on him? Uh, he's he's certainly wearing clothes that you've never seen before. Uh, looks like some sort of very elaborate, like maybe a silk robe or something. Very different design from what you've ever seen. Um, and also, of course, those large fucking looks like great sword sized blades on, on each side of his waist. Is he bigger than me? Oh, much bigger. Uh, <laughs> he, you're probably around the same height, like uh, comparable in height, but he has much more bulk. He also has okay. four arms. That's another thing I forgot to mention. Ah. So, uh. Okay. I won't. I won't have you roll an insight check to say you won't. You won't beat him in a rest in an arm wrestling competition. So I'm rolling insight. I said I won't have. I don't. I won't. I won't oh, have oh, you oh, roll oh. an insight to oh, tell yes, that he yes. is. He is jacked. Okay. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just eye him up and down then. Right. He he's got like not bodybuilder but like weightlifter sort of body. Basically. Okay. Okay, respect. Mm hmm. Any, you know, uh, any vigilance is uh, a, a, sorry, a purple tiefling uh, gentleman uh, has, is also standing there waiting, presumably. <laughs> oh, I'm, I am them all. Anyone got anything mm -hmm. cool? Um. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, roll. Well, I guess suppose another uh, investigation to see if there's anything expensive to frickin' <laughs> take. Uh, turns out, um, turns out both of these people seem fairly competent and are not actively showing anything that might uh, be willing to steal. Okay. With the fake gems on visions is now. With, with the fake with the fake gems on Vigilance's necklace, like, do be like of any interest? <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, okay. Well, actually, Ogilvy might see those. You might see uh, some sort of like gem necklace around uh, the Tiefling's neck. Uh, okay, can I roll to see if I know anything about this gem necklace? <laughs> with an eight, uh, I mean, they're shiny. 
They're different colors. <laughs> Shiny is nice. Okay, I'll put that in the back burner. I'm sorry, wait, pardon? Oh, it means that he's thinking about it, but he's not doing it. Oh, okay, I was supposed to say, oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, Go, gotcha, all right. Fair it's enough. on the but back yes. burner of his mind. But yes, you see uh, Vigilance, you see uh, Kime walk up with a, a, a frog, uh, with a, with uh, various equipment in a bucket on their back, and also a large out a, a large Noctura gentleman that uh, seems to be looking at your necklace. Okay. Um. <laughs> vigilance, vigilance, vigilance. Yeah. Uh, the people, you know, the people that the, the, the big big guys back at the city said that we're gonna getting people. They're the he's the people. Yeah. I see. Um. Hmm. I guess you might as well come in. <laughs> now he just nods curtly and <laughs> follows in. Alright. Also, you should- I was gonna say, you should be able to control your tokens. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going in. Alright. <laughs> Kime, you following? All the Which seats are taken. Wait, oh, all, the, all the seats are taken today, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit packed, actually. Um, okay, you do, I'm you at do everybody. See, yeah, you do see um, again for the the, uh, the other people, for the, the new players. You do see uh, there is a singular dwarf that looks actually uh, pretty grumpy and dead inside. Uh, as he they seems to be like uh, serving up drinks and, and sliding them down the table and, and you know uh, cleaning glasses and all of that. Uh, there's a bunch of, similarly to outside, there's a bunch of human and elven families that seem to be taking up residence, either drinking or eating food and whatnot. Uh, you do see a, uh, a another dwarf that seems much less jaded, uh, is walking around with like six different plates uh, as he comes over to another table. Morning, folks! Oh, hey, the new guys! <laughs> as, he, as he just goes yeah. past. New people. Hmm. I am absolutely and, watching this. Mm -hmm. And you um, also see, uh, just after him, uh, also just show her picture for reference, just to... <laughs> so, let's pull up all the pictures, because, geez, there's a lot of people. Uh, yes, two first pictures. Bit, we got the two guards outside, one being the human gentleman. Ooh. I'm hoping... One, and then, of course, and of course, the rhino beetle person. Oh, yeah. Then, of course, we have... Do, 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 do. Oh, I forgot. I put them in the wrong section. That's fine. Uh, there's the two dwarves. I don't know if either of those are coming up, actually. Uh, what? Yep, they're yep. both up. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, you see two dwarves. They're both... The they both seem to be uh, tending the bar and also the tavern themselves. And then, of course, uh, thirdly, you actually see... Uh, some form of pr praying mantis woman? Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, pure white, like albino white uh, skin, uh, along with like having a, uh, a single pair of humanoid arms as well as two uh, mantis claw arms, that uh, all four of them are also decked out with, with uh, another six plates as she, uh, as she seems to be much more st like steadily walking out uh, and then looks over to see the new people and she like, tries to bow while balancing on the plates which shows, oh, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so she just, like, nods and then continues walking with the direction that Skodgrim went. Okay. <laughs> so, yes, Ogilvy it, yeah. watches all of them. He's looking at their clothing, he's looking at what's in their hands, he's just eyeballing stuff. Uh, obviously, mostly you're seeing a lot of food and drinks being passed around. Uh, it is currently during the breakfast rush, for all intents and purposes. It's around, like, 10.30ish uh, in the morning. As, uh, you know, various families are in here grabbing food. You see steaming piles of, uh, you know, pancakes and, and fresh meats and omelets and eggs. Uh, especially wafting out from the kitchen and from these plates. Uh, mm -hmm. It smells incredibly good, especially after you've eaten nothing but, like, trail rations and jerky. Hardtack. Well, not hardtack, but, you know, jerky and, like, I am nuts used and to dried tack. fruits. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> if, you, if you want, if, if Ogilvy brought hardtack hard with them, sure. <laughs> it's gone now, he ate it. Fair enough. <laughs> he did uh, not care. 
We uh, have this is, this actual is... food if that's what you want. Like, yeah, I think that. Have... It, is it still morning? Is this the breakfast rush or? <laughs> yeah, it's it's still breakfast. Yeah, it's ten thirty. Yeah, we're in the middle of the breakfast rush, I... so if you want to grab something to eat. <laughs> yeah, just you you work here now, so I I think you get free meals. Do, do we get free meals? I don't know. We work here. I, we'll we'll pay I mean, for your meals if if. No don't worry, my meals are free. <laughs> The, I was gonna say the the owner. I was gonna say the owners and workers of the adventure center get basically get free room and board. So. Oh no, I, I, Ogilvy doesn't know that. He just knows this. Yeah. yeah. You you get you get free food and uh, we have really good food. Uh, there's this really good like dragon gravy. It's like spicy. You put it on like something. Like, hey, the biscuits and dragon gravy. You want a bowl? And this is uh, this is the dwarven gentleman that just set up like six plates out of out of table uh, over there. And then so just walks up to the party. Oh. Yeah, Ogilvy's not gonna say no. He's gonna grab that. I mean, I, I got I gotta make it first. I thought so I he put it, it on the table. No, no, no. no. Oh, he, okay. He set down a bunch of plates to another family down at another table and then went oh. to approach you guys. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I apologize. I just misheard that. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Guessing you want a bowl of that then, lad? Okay, he 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 not. He doesn't say yet, but he not. All right, and gives a thumbs up and then walks back into the kitchen. Don't if fall. He's heavily eyeing it. Don't fall, Miski. As she, as he just gives like a, a a tap of uh like taps her on the side as a bit of recognition before she's like ah! <laughs> gets it back up and uh gingerly makes her way over to another table. Oh yeah, wait! Um, and he pokes he pokes his head back out from the the kitchen door. Oh, anything for the frog? Oh, sorry, my my apologies. Got any names? Oh yes. What what are your names? We didn't yeah, that's kind of important. To ask. Yeah, I I oh. was too busy. Folk, sorry. Yeah. yeah, names please. Maybe. I'm Kime. By the way, yes. Uh, let me pull up my full name. I haven't had a chance to say it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vuthujang Kimanaustra and Nausi, uh, Kime for short. Uh, this is Vigilance. Yeah, vi and, uh, Vigilance are... Heart. Oglivy. Uh, I am Nari. Oglivy and Nari? Yes, something like that. Alright, Oglivy and Nari. Uh, Nari, you want anything to eat? Uh, same as what they're taking. Got it! Oh! <laughs> Actually, I was gonna say, did Kime or Vigilance even eat breakfast yet? Uh, probably, maybe. Have we? What? It's, it's like. I mean, I was gonna say, say, it's up to you guys if you think you would have probably eaten or not. I think I think Kime got up early enough that, that, that she had <laughs> breakfast before this. V Vigilance That's doesn't fair. wake up that early, to be fair, so. <laughs> you want the same, or do you want, uh, or do you want something special? I'll, I'll I'll have the same. Why not? Fair enough. All right, three orders of biscuits and dragon gravy. As he gets back into the kitchen. Ogilvy is I don't know if you can see his token. Is just very subtly walking around and eyeing stuff. So where do you guys come from? He's like, Vigilance is like keeping an eye on Ogilvy as he says that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's sitting in this chair? Uh, you actually see this, uh, looks like a human, human gentleman, uh, fiery red hair. Um, like, look, uh, looks, also has a, a pretty large prominent beard as he looks like he's sitting there and, uh, digging, digging through some, um, some grits, actually, at the moment. Oh. Does he have anything neat on him? Can I roll for that? <laughs> You're gonna do this for every single character, aren't you? Vigilance no, is very much keeping one. an eye on. Like that. Vigilance is very is much keeping an eye out too. So. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, he looks to be also about a uh, very rugged-looking guy. I just don't have to roll every fucking time. Uh, very rugged-looking guy. Uh, looks. Uh, his hands look very like callous and dirty. Like you know, big okay, work. Let me, let me make this easier for uh, you. How about this? How about Ogilvy? Kind of eyeballs everyone in. Can I roll to see who seems the easiest target? All right, fucking investigation. 
Okay. I think that'll you're make it easier you're, for everybody. Yeah, you're <laughs> scouting the joint. I am scouting that joint. 16. Um... I mean, you do see, uh, it looks like a mom that she just has this beautiful, like, gold and, like, uh, this gold necklace or, like, or rose gold. Uh, as she seems to be, like, have it, having a bit of a time, like, trying to, to take care of this, uh, this, like, toddler and, like, actually trying to get them to eat. And she seems really preoccupied. Ooh. And where's that? Uh, that is at this table over here. I did not see your cursor. One more time. Uh, this way. I see it. All right. Specifically, oh, this this so is the mother Ogilvy. here. Ogilvy. Okay, so Ogilvy, he hears Vigilance's question. He's just like, oh, you know, around. Vig <laughs> Vigilance is keeping his eyes on Ogilvy, by the way. So <laughs> he knows. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, he's just around. Oh, where no, exactly? No, he's watching over here. He's watching over here now. What? A around where exactly? Ever everywhere. You know, on ships. Mm -hmm. We see everything. Can, can I like see like? Have, like... <laughs> oh. Can, can I kind of like, insight like see like like if vigilance can tell like he's up to no good or if like this is just like a casual That's... stroll around uh, checking things out? <laughs> Ogilvy, do you allow vigilance to insight you? After I, I get consent. <laughs> Well, te well, technically, as a uh, like that, this is this is something to discuss between you, you, you and your guys as characters about. Are you okay with allowing Ren, uh, Ren as vigilance to insight Ogilvy? That sounds dirty. Uh, what does insight entail? <laughs> if, like, am I gonna basically feel it? In inciting? Basically, means you're reading you're reading someone's intentions to say like, okay, are they lying? Are they are they trying to get up to something like? Oh. Uh, and basically, it would be their insight against your deception and trying to deceive them. Gotcha. Okay, Ogilvy will not allow someone to incite him. Then, so will I have to roll for him? Sure. <laughs> All right. I roll deception. <laughs> Oof. Well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just checking out the place. <laughs> he seems he seems pretty he seems pretty laid back and casual and carefree. Yeah, I'm just looking around. It's neat. What a neat little tavern you got. What a, what a neat little tavern you got here. It's so neat. Hmm. Look at this neat stuff. Yeah, it's something, I guess. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, is this wood? Look at this wood. That's some sturdy wood. <laughs> <laughs> After a few moments of this, eventually, uh, the, uh, the, the dwarven gentleman, Skullgrim, comes up, FOOD! <laughs> As he's holding a, out of, like, a three bowls. Okay, food. Food can happen. It's... Where is that food? It's right uh, over here. Well... <laughs> I was gonna say, uh... if, you want, if you want a clear space, and, like, uh, if you want a clear space for all of the party, that's, you can ask people to stop drinking and move their ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and like they all kind of pull pull down at the back here. Uh, Nari like climbs up onto a stool. Yeah, Ogilvy just immediately took a chair without any care. <laughs> just just no care whatsoever. Fair enough. No care. He's tall, but no, he took a chair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, yeah, and uh, the you know the bowls of food are placed up in front of you, and of course at this point, uh, uh, the the more jaded, older-looking dwarven uh, gentleman comes over. Uh, looks like there's, he actually looks like uh, he amongst the uh, the reddish auburn sort of hair, you actually see uh, like a few like uh, salt and pepper like black and white sort of feathers, sort of mingled mingled with it, as he looks oh. over at you guys. Uh, like anything mm. to drink with that. I oh, think what I'm good. Drink. Water. Rum. All right. Uh, we got whiskey. Well, that's fine. Fine. All right. I see. Uh, you know, he goes over, uh, pours a pours a glass, uh, hands the hands the whiskey and the water over, and he just oh, you know goes back to his hands. <laughs> 
<laughs> roll a constitution saving throw. All right. Where are you? Constitution. Wait, there it is. Okay, you got a, a bit of a buzz. Uh, you're not blackout drunk from just shotgunning a freaking glass of whiskey. Um, it's, you know, it's rich, it's smoky as it goes down. Uh, a little bit of an earthiness to it, but you don't, to be fair, you're not really trying to sit and taste it, you're just downing the whole damn thing. Uh, so that's at least what little bit you get as it goes down your gullet. And, uh, whew. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I he... recommend eating something before you have down. Oh, all right. <laughs> the, the, the barkeep just goes back. I know room. what I'm doing. From first thing in the morning. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to tell us anything about yourselves, maybe? I don't know what people do when they meet their coworkers for the first time. Are you always like this when you meet new people? I mean, I guess I think you're supposed to ask yes. questions. <laughs> you're like always I'm nervous like about it. it. Yeah, yes. I I'm not ner I I'm not I think I'm, I'm not I nervous. Don't know. <laughs> yeah, vigilance. You want to do the talking this time? Okay. Uh, he's just kind of kind of. Team's gonna shut up. Yeah, do you want to tell us about yourselves at all? Because I guess we're going to be working together, so, like... Ogilvy is eating his food now. He picks up the bowl with his feather, with his winged hands, and essentially tips it and starts eating it with his beak. You were given a fork, I will say. Um, kind of hard no. to use a fork with wings. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, yeah, you still live the. All right, fair enough. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, so this is a weird sensation of whiskey mixing with this. Uh, as you know, it is. It's a uh, biscuits uh, and sausage with dragon gravy, uh, which you realize what dragon gravy means now, as uh, your mouth immediately starts burning. Ah, oh, yeah. Can <laughs> burn uh, feel spicy? Yeah. <laughs> Bird. Can they actually? Because uh, I, I think that yeah, there's like bird seed. Spicy. There's like a bird seed that the story work adds that is like specifically spicy so that squirrels won't eat it, but birds don't mind it. Yeah. Uh, we'll say for I the mean, sake of this, you are you're you're able to taste uh, capsaicin, aka you do feel a burning sensation in your mouth that goes down wait. goes down the throat into your stomach. Even you have, you have lost. Oh, it, is, thing it, like, it warms you up. Oh yeah, I feel like I can breathe fire. Good. Uh, Good. The, the barkeep between, rolls like, his eyes. Between like big uh, mouthfuls of, of, of food, we'll just say, hmm, not much to tell. I don't think I. Uh, I can fight. I know the land. You know the land. Yes. That's uh, pretty good. Like. The land around here, or just the land in general? Uh, the land in general, I guess? I'm ah. not familiar with okay. my home I farm. was going to ask... I, I was going to ask if you came from the Fey Woods that are nearby, but probably not if you came in a cart that seemed to be coming not from that direction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah there's... Counter indicative of me coming... Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I... I don't know what much to say. Hmm. Um, Oglavy, do you have anything interesting about yourself that you'd like to share? Or maybe- or not? The entire time Nari was talking, he kept opening his beak and going, <laughs> Because of the sensation that he's experiencing. But then yes, he turns is... over. But then he turns over. And he goes, I don't know. I can do cool shit. I know, I know water. Not your water, but water. You know water. Yeah. Huh. You know what, fair enough. I have also been on ships before when I 
sailed to to uh New New Alshir. That's the country we're in, right? New Arcaster. New Arcaster in the yeah. Oh yeah. He I suddenly slowly, turns slowly dying on the inside, but it's fine. Yeah. Oh no, he's dying. <laughs> he's dying. But he's he's trying to pretend. He's trying to play it cool. You can tell. I'm gonna let you know right now. You can tell he's fidgeting in the seat. And he, I was more he's... referring to myself, but I suppose also Ogilvy. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, you're dying too. Cool. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's no, like Ogilvy's forced... dying. But he's he's turning suddenly to to teammate. And I was like, shit, he said. What kind of ship did yeah. you ride on? Uh, uh, nature. What kind of ship did I ride on? <laughs> I don't know. It was a big one. <laughs> a, a a big ship. What was the, nature? What, what, what was the ship's name? Do I remember that? Um, let me actually look real quick. <laughs> one moment, please. <laughs> it's not. You know, all the things I was expecting to to bring up today, uh, a person's uh, a, a ship from someone's backstory was not one of them. Uh, <laughs> wasn't, I, hey, that's, I, I wasn't, ex wasn't expecting to bring it up either. That's why, I'm, that's why I asked. So DM. Fair enough. Do, 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 do. It was the it was the NAS Rustlaus. Uh, I it was a big ship called the NAS Rustlaus, like the um the, the insect. Mhm. Mm Would I know anything about this ship? Oh, sorry. Uh, I mean, it, it's clearly it's a new Arcaster ship. I did uh, not realize kind. that. Sorry, I'm asking. I'm asking not as Ogilvy. Oh, uh, I, 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 I suppose if you want to roll a history check. Okay, simply because he knows ships as his backstory. Right. Uh, judging by it, be uh, obviously it's a new Arcaster ship, and also ju uh, judging that it's a some kind of big boat. Um, I'd pull up another thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I, I need to pull up the, the, the different ship names. It, it is specifically... Um... Because I do have an answer for this. Just need to check a moment. I just love how you don't lose me yet. Don't lose me yet. Yeah, no, no panic. Uh, it was. It's pr sounds like some sort of galleon. Ooh. So Ogilvy would probably at least have heard of the ship just in passing. Yeah, yeah. it's it, it is usually a large transport vessel. Oh yeah, he knows that ship. <laughs> mm -hmm. Based on this roll, oh yeah, I've seen that ship. It's a nice ship. Lots of nice people on that ship. Oh, oh. That's cool. I, I didn't stay on it for very long, but... Uh, nice Probably would have recognized you. And I don't. Oh, yeah. I, I got off, like... Um, it, was, it was just a short trip from... Um, where's my home nation? <laughs> Nature? <laughs> <laughs> from Strihikeda, uh, the Dragonborn Empire. From Strihikeda to, um, to Arcaster. Yeah. It wasn't very long. I, I'm not a sailor by any means, but I have, uh, but I did help out when I could. Uh, yeah. What? He is definitely fidgeting now. Mm -hmm. Kimi is also fidgeting. It just <laughs> for just completely forced... different reason. Yeah, this, is just, this is just four socially awkward people. Just kind of, I think, like, just trying to have a conversation. 
We're all just like, please, someone save us from this. <laughs> I, f I, yeah, God, none, none of us know what to say here. <laughs> the four worst oh, people for conversation. Starting to notice this. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna be. He was gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna be quiet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure these guys out. And he's realizing you guys are really kind of uncool. Oh, okay. Um, I think uh, uh, not even just so. Um, uh, we're here for work, I guess. Uh, it's their work. Uh, we'll have to check the. Board, I guess. I mean, technically, we could explore the forest nearby, but, like, at the same time, most people who go in there don't come out, so, uh, yeah. That's so a thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's like this, okay, so across the bridge there is, this is, this is like you see Kime perk up for, like, the first time this entire conversation. So, across the bridge there is, like, this mysterious forest that, that is, like, filled with, like, fey magic and, and stuff. And, like, no one who comes in there ever turned. I went in there, like, one time, with like my friend who ate a mushroom and then and then like got really sick. So honestly, don't don't eat the mushrooms there. It's probably bad for you. I think that's just and a rule in general. <laughs> yeah. Also, there was this flower that spat fire, which was like pretty insane. And but anyway, so like we have theories about like the, the forest and like how like there might be some like fey magic that's like gone from the forest and like Kimi just kind of starts going off about the forest and if no one's gonna stop her, she'll just keep talking. Ogilvy definitely is interested in this. He perks up, his little horned owl feathers stick up a minute, and then they go back down to normal. And as she's talking on and on, he's just fidgeting <laughs> more and more over the fire, the, 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 the dragon gravy. He is not comfortable, but he will not ask for water. <laughs> but eventually, uh, are you, he holds are up. You a wing and goes, you said nobody ever came back, but you said you went in. Are you, he, so to clarify, he, he you're hiding, him. sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, Ogilvy, you're hiding the fact that you're uh, burning and dying on the inside, right? Yeah. Roll deception. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. How good am I doing? Continue. <laughs> okay. So he holds the he holds the wing up, and, and to clarify, he says, "You said that no one ever comes back out of this, but you said you went in." And I'm looking at you right now. Yeah. We didn't really go in it. We in it. we didn't go very. Yeah. We 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 went like five steps in, and it was already pretty dangerous. Rosie kind of like stopped us. Rosie. Rosie was wasn't our... there. <laughs> Rosie well, didn't know. Who stopped us then? It was, it was, it was Vigilance, Vigilance and Volca, and Thomas! Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, v Vigilance here stopped us, and, uh, from, like, dying and going in further. Yeah, but that was really like, fucking we... stupid, by the way. Ogilvy looked I, I, I at haven't... Vigilance for a minute. Eyeing what? him, glancing at the necklace, but then looking back up at his face again. Well, what, what? if we took stick steps? Uh, actually, I, I Vigilance, have... you are wearing... Are you wearing the ring? Uh, I thought it was a bracelet? Or bracelet, sorry, yes. Are you wearing yeah, the bracelet? Yeah, I... He, uh, he okay. has been ever since that second ferryman visit, so... Gotcha. Never mind, continue. I was gonna say, do I roll for that? I mean, the one thing you... I... Cause, uh, one thing you that you certainly would notice is that, uh, the... For, on the tiefling gentleman, uh, Vigilance, one of his horns looks kind of cracked. Okay, but and he does have a scar. Was kind of it looks faded, mm -hmm. right? Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. That is correct. Yeah. It's okay, like I the, the, the I crack. I noticed yeah, the, that he's obviously done. Yeah, the crack goes down the horn and then leads down to like a scar over the eye. Yeah, that looks pretty trippy. I bet. Right. It's 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 mostly faded and looks like it's mostly healed, but it's still visible. He, gotcha. Vigilance also kind of wears kind of dramatic gothy makeup, so. That too. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what if we took stick steps? Don't fucking think about it. I mean, we are, we, we have are... to explore it eventually. We have to explore it eventually, Vigilance. Like, like, eventually, it, yeah. But... Yeah, and like. Why not have... eventually it'd be now? Well, for one, yeah. we're still eating. I'm not. Okay, after. 
two, you guys need to settle in. Like, you've had mm. a, how how long have I been traveling? Like, at least, like, mm. several days? Like... Yeah, I need to stretch my legs. The barkeep eventually perks up. Isn't one... Aren't you... Doesn't one of you guys, uh, like a criminal or something? Yeah, that one. Oh. <laughs> points to Nori. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? R roll deception! Vigilance is gonna tr incite for sure, like... I mean, like... That, okay, there we go. That's <laughs> it. That's what I was looking for. All right, uh-huh. So, the, so, so the person yeah, that isn't... The one that isn't wearing the anklet is the criminal. Yeah. That's how it works. This is my... He lifts up his leg to show it off. This is my newest accessory. Look at it. It's and, shiny. He wiggles any it. Got, any of you got a crystal? I... Don't I have the other crystal in my wing? <laughs> Nari has- Nari, uh, Ogilvy has one, Nari has the other. Oh, okay, cause- okay, so Ogilvy does hold up one. He's like, nope, see? Shiny. Alright, uh, well, uh, judging by the description here for, uh, for oh, folks like yourself, uh, uh we're, oh, sorry, no, oh, my apologies, sorry, Nari, we're saying? Taking the- the other one out of the bucket, like, they- they have the- the bucket in front of them and just going through it looking for the other crystal. Mm. All right, uh, Ogilvy was it? If you can hand me that one, we have to install one of them into the center so you don't uh, end up fucking electrocuting yourself. See, he's got a crystal too. This is discrimination. Well, just give me the damn crystal. Can I? Can I be reluctant? Look, I'm not. It's morning. I haven't woken up yet. I haven't had a morning drink. I don't want to deal with this shit right now. Give me the damn crystal. <laughs> Can I roll for intimidation? Sure. Oh no. He's gonna intimidate oh, right back. <laughs> All right. I roll for intimidation, and Ogilvy's feathers get like all fluffed up. <laughs> he just he just looks up at you. Uh, I'm not. All right, fine. I'm not dealing with this fucking shit. All right. Uh, it looks over to Nari. Could I have yours for installing into the establishment? Yes, here you go. Sure, just... Thank you kindly. And he <laughs> takes it and, uh, you know, immediately just goes off to uh, install it, presumably. And maybe, and maybe somebody who we know isn't a criminal should hold on to the other one just in case. And Vigilance is like holding out his hand. I don't know if you're not a criminal. Look at you. I mean, we've kind of Vigilance established. Has... Vigilance has been working here for a long time and is not a criminal. Yeah. I technically am a criminal. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a criminal in this country, but I was a criminal. I was in jail. Sorry, a refugee. A week. Yeah. Oh, this movie turns back to Kime. Jail, you say? Yeah. What kind of jail? What did you do? What kind of crimes? Well, treason and... and treason? Um, treason and I, blasphemy? I would definitely Ooh. say uh, Ogilvy, because also look, because look at Kime's face. Kime, you still have the scar. Certainly. I have a uh, giant uh, bird scar on my forehead. It's really Yes! Big. There is a large... There is a, there is a large uh, burn scar on, like, the forehead of, this, of Kime. Uh, it essentially looks like a, a ring with a, uh, a f basically a, look, almost looks like a star, but each point is like a dragon head going around in a spiral. Oh, right okay, in the middle yeah, of the no, forehead. Ogilvy would have noticed that and thought that was cool. Hmm. Ogilvy gives the crystal to Kime. Oh, okay, um... There! <laughs> Now I'll give it to someone who you don't know. In it. I'm sorry, can you repeat that last part? You kind of <laughs> a little bit there. He's maybe. being an asshole. Um, oh. <laughs> okay. uh, we got plenty of those here. All right, don't we? Yeah, there's a Scott Groom going past with more cups. <laughs> I'll drink to that, except I, I don't uh, really have a drink, so. <laughs> hang on. I, it, it's, I think it's too early in the morning. He goes back. Oh. He goes Fair back, enough. grabs another, grabs a drink, and slides it over to you. All right. I was about to say it's too early, but you know what? Fair enough. And he just kind of holds it up and it downs it. <laughs> it's a milky squeeze. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> Kimmy's just like holding the crystal really confused. He's like, what do I do with this? You can give it back to me. Uh, no, I, I, I think I'll hold it. If you, you want to roll me. an arcana check. Which yeah. one of us? Uh, Kime. Okay. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, Ogilvy knows what the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Yeah, no. Uh, judging by the description, uh, it's apparently a good idea for Ogilvy not to have it. <laughs> I, I Technically, they about, should not have Ogilvy. given it to him in the first place. That's also very true. <laughs> I heard something about it electrocuting you, so I'm just gonna hold it. My metal armor. It's not like an it's not an electric crystal, right? Like it won't kill me if I hold it, right? Kimei's gonna yeah, like you're you're of... holding it in your hand and it's not you know shocking you. Ogilvy it's... starts to shake his head and then he starts to nod his head. Do I roll deception? <laughs> what? Sure. <laughs> yeah. So Ogilvy starts shaking his head at first, but then he starts nodding his head at Kimei. At this point, if you're gonna be if you're gonna be lying after every other sentence, might as well just give you a passive deception. Like <laughs> technically, <laughs> every skill has a passive, so like true, that is yeah. very true. Whatever your passive, open. whatever your passive um, charisma based it, one is, I guess. Yeah, it's like it would be ten plus your deception mod, which in your case is eleven. Ten plus my deception mod. Well, yeah. Yes. Which is 11, you said? So that's 21? Uh, well, no, 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 sorry, for a total of 11. Oh, for a total of 11. I see what you're yes, saying. Yes, because you, you, you have a plus one in deception. Okay, I was going to say, that seems kind of high. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, there's no way in hell at this, at this level you have a passive of 21 for deception. <laughs> I'm really good. Um, <laughs> but either way, yes, uh... Yeah, eventually Scott Grimm ends up coming back and just goes back to his business being done with existence. Mm -hmm. Now, about that mother and her baby. Actually, I should probably have water because I'm dying. You want water or milk? Can birds have milk? Let's pretend they can. All right, yeah. He I'll grabs the glass and slows it down. I also I recommend. Like I'm, I'm presuming he d did he or did he not say about the mother out loud? No, uh, what? <laughs> okay, what? all right. Just want to make sure. Just want to make sure. <laughs> what here? I zoned out for two seconds and I'm already confused. Anyways, uh, the music's gone. By the way, if he if he did, oh, I didn't hear it. Yeah, Mo Ogilvy takes milk, but only because he wants it, not because he needs it. All right, keep telling yourself that. I am. You and Ogilvy downs the milk just as fast as he downed that whiskey. And you feel... not terrible. <laughs> cool. Hmm. Do, do you folks not have any, like, quests or leads or anything? Or are you just going to keep sitting there in the... With all due respect, hogging up the bar stools. We have some stuff. We would just we we just needed to introduce the people to. We probably should give them a tour. That seems like a thing we should do. Ogilvy does stand up and stretch out a little bit now that he doesn't feel like he's about to drop dead. Stretching, salutation to the sun. That means showing his tail feathers off to someone. Shake that booty, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> if you got it, flaunt well, it. <laughs> well, if you see, well, if you yeah. certainly seem to be interested in people, I suggest I suggest not mess, not trying to, to get away with such bullshit when you're out in the open. And uh, <laughs> Ogilvy, you actually do see like uh, sort of swinging down from the ceiling, uh, still clinging, still clinging to the ceiling. By the way, uh, a, a large gecko face stare you directly in the eyes. Ooh! <laughs> As you see this person. Oh! <laughs> oh, you're fine. Androx, our beloved. Androx, our beloved. Androx. 
Oh. You know, you're, you're not as clever as you think you are. As he just falls off, <laughs> jumps down onto the onto the proper floor plopper and stand up uh, straight with him. Oh. Ogilvy does a little jump back at first and his feathers get all ruffled. Oh, so you're okay. assaulted by a lizard now, I see. No. I was assaulted by the fact that something fell from the ceiling. <laughs> so you're easily spooked. Noted. I am not easily spooked. <laughs> he grins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, in that case, uh, haven't haven't heard any more in terms of uh, any of any of the little grapefruits walking around at the very least. Uh, no new heads either, which I suppose is also a good thing. Thank you, Androx. Thanks. We appreciate your <laughs> we appreciate your hard work. Yeah, I was no problem. Also, and he... also, please stop oh. vandalizing my, my. Please stop vandalizing my board. It's no promises. <laughs> like... Climbs back. He jumps back up onto the ceiling and just climbs away like a gecko. <laughs> Ogilvy watches him go. Huh. Roll perception. I... Me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's not perception. There. That's deception. No, I did perception. See, There's right there. Yes. Well, now it did, but yes. Uh, no, that was older. You only, yeah, you just barely managed to to catch a glimpse at his uh, at his tail as he climbs as he climbs up like through like a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. And like and like covers it up behind him. Okay, Ogilvy is now noting that. <laughs> He is now noting that that is what has happened. <laughs> and now he's looking on the ceiling to see if there's any other gecko people. <laughs> Can I with roll a 20, for that? With a 20, I'll, I'll let you keep the same perception before. With a okay. 20, uh, you, like now that you're looking around for it, you see uh, there's one near this doorway. There's one near this doorway to the kitchen. Uh, and there is one that's sort of like le it's like kind of near the stairwell. Oh my god! Uh, okay. lo looks like holes that are looks like holes that are covered up. Nice. Okay. Okay. Duly noted. I don't know if I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Me as Tyga likes him. Sorry, sorry. I just, I just, I just took a minute to glimpse back at the Discord. What the fuck is going on? En enemies to lovers, slow burn, ninety thousand words. Wait, what's that? God. I'm not even there. I'm not even gonna touch on that. Anyway, and apparently the shipping kiss. has already started. Either way, um. Kiss, 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 kiss. So what are you guys doing now? I guess yeah. I guess we kinda have to show Nari I guess we have to show Nari and Ogilvy where they're gonna be like where their rooms will be and stuff. Oh god, yeah, because uh basically we need to, hmm? we, we need to show them to Colmos. <gasps> they, they need to meet Colmos. They need to meet Colmos. The stream needs to meet Colmos. <laughs> out, out of character, they need to meet Colmos like keep like it, it, just, we need, they need to make homos, like just now. Okay. So, to, to, oh, you, w would you like to go on a tour? We have a really nice gardens. I heard that one of you guys was interested in, in land things. I, I need. I, listen, I need. I need an excuse, okay? I need an excuse to show homos. Really nice. We have a really nice swamp garden, helped by as maintained by our resident druid. Who you will eat right now? Cause we're yeah. gonna go see him. Come on. Sort of the, sort of the <laughs> groundskeeper, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, are you guys actually making your way over to the greenhouse? Ogilvy, oh, I don't what know you where doing? the greenhouse is. I'm walking over here. Vigilance, Vigilance, oh. and Kime would be leading the way. <laughs> Ogilvy, are you trying something? <laughs> Is that mother still there? 
Correct. Uh, she has since managed to try to act at this point spoon feed her ch uh, her child his breakfast. Okay. Well, I mean, you see where I'm standing. Slide of hand. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Well, considering uh, I'm presuming everyone else was at the very least vigilance was uh, keeping an eye on him. If you'd like to roll perception, yeah, that yeah, was worth a shot. <laughs> I mean, now I you have a even with a natural twenty, I probably wouldn't even be able to beat that. So now you have a rose gold necklace. Oh heck yeah! Hold on. It's not it's not proper gold, but it is it is rose gold and it's still very shiny and very pretty. Yeah, shiny. Okay, now I follow them. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> oh great. God. Oh, that's, Where are we going? That's a window. That's a, wi I'll, I'll, that's I'll a window, not a door. <laughs> Doors over here, right? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. This is a door right here? I don't I'm assuming. Care. I don't care. We're going Keep out it the window. Bust through the window. <laughs> door is over. Is this a door? Is this the door? Or yes, no? that is a door. That is a door. Okay, this I'm is, at the door. This is the door. I, I was just trying to move my token, but I realized it, look, it looks like Kibe bust through a window in her excitement. It looks there, like she's got pilgrimed it. In an, in an alternate universe, there's a Kime shaped hole in the wall. <laughs> Yeah, we can. Okay, if Kiwi went through control. the window, then that's how Ogilvy went too. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, okay. okay. no I mean, problem. So, uh, presuming Kime is the first one to come in through the door, oh uh, my you God, are good. Those pumpkins? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm sorry. Uh, I gotta have Ogilvy stop at the pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, you see several pretty decently sized pumpkins. These pumpkins are great! He starts, like, bopping on them with his hollow bones. What, are you, like, kicking them, or are you, like... No, 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 with his wings, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, with the wing, there's just a little, like, doom, doom. Yeah, just a little <laughs> doom, doom, doom. He's looking around them, he's looking at the vines. Yeah, like, you see, uh, there's, there's like, berry bushes and, like, trees going <gasps> along all of this side. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna look at uh... those berry bushes, too. Yes. Yeah, there's I mushrooms like growing under this. There, there's Ooh. mushrooms and herbs and other things growing under this massive oak tree uh, over here. Uh, and of course, you can peer inside to see all kinds of flowers and plants. As like the the uh, the glass to the greenhouse is a little fogged over from the humidity compared to uh, inside compared to mm -hmm. outside. Okay. Asking Colmos is there. I That's think what they're getting to. We're going. We're so, going to see Colmos. We're, we're going, going to see Colmos. So Kime and the rest of the party are greeted to seeing, uh, well, technically he'd be kind of over here. Uh, everyone kind of sees like a, a pretty large salmon head just kind of sticking out of like a pile of mud and like in like the water. And there's also just like a pelican sitting here. And he's like, and I, and I said to her, like, like I gave them, I gave them a flower and I thought it was being nice, but then she yelled at me and she said she was allergic and like, and then she yelled at me and then I got scared as like, as like the pelican is just kind of sitting there looking at him deadpan. Oh, God. <laughs> and, and then you just hear, what do you think about that? <laughs> I know, right? Like, it's crazy. Like I thought, I thought I was being nice. Also, hey guys, <laughs> so that's the head just kind of pokes over like eight ninety degrees. Hey, oh, hey new people. Yeah, we're yeah, we're just... giving them a tour of the place. Oh, sorry. Show them the picture. Show them the picture. <gasps> wait, no, wait. Say, I want a picture. Wait, are they are they were are these new workers? Are they friends? Yeah. Yes, we have. <gasps> At that, he he immediately the entire seven foot length of his height comes out of the water. <laughs> And oh, you Jesus. see, uh, <laughs> hang on one moment. Whatever you see we're doing. the most jacked <laughs> salmon oh you have God. ever seen in your entire life. As he comes, oh my God. also covered, he is <laughs> covered in like a like plants and muds. And when I, as he is <laughs> bounding straight towards the party. Oh my God! It's a salmon run gone wrong. <laughs> he is running up to the party. Uh, Nari, if you could make a strength teeth, saving right? throw. Why does it have teeth? Uh, but he looks like the salmon from Salmon Run. Uh, strength save? 
from Splatoon. <laughs> yes, Splatoon a strength oh. saving throw. <laughs> Someone in the chat is just playing nope, 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 nope. <laughs> uh, hey. V, if you could do the same. Why are we doing this? Uh, you'll, <laughs> you'll see. see. Oh dear. Do you know how to do a strength save? No, how do you okay, do a strength save? Throwing it. Okay, so see where it says. <laughs> oh, this is me. Yeah. How come mine looks oh, different from Nari? You just barely managed to duck out of the way as Nari gets fucking football tackled by this <laughs> massive <laughs> Jack Salmon man and he like squeezes them for the tightest bear hug you've ever felt in your life, Nari. Well, that's probably not safe. Their their eyes Nari do the poisonous? Bulge thing. Uh, no, funnily Nari enough, is poisonous, so I would like them to make a. Oh no! <laughs> I thought the frog dude was venomous. <laughs> I will. I, one thing that is pleasant to say, the very least, like they are, they are about this as as cold and clammy as you are, Nari. Uh, no, that is. Uh, you're right. Meanwhile, I'm also roll con saving throw for uh, Colbos. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, Somewhere no. Luma Farm is crying. What's the DC? Sorry. Uh, twelve. Yeah, no, that's that's not gonna make it. As uh. He takes a hug, and all of a sudden, there's like a. <laughs> he like immediately steps back. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Uh, you have great hugs. <laughs> you good? Uh... Hang on one minute. As he like he uh, like just goes over to one of the bushes and just. <laughs> oh God. Can I can I lay on hands him? You okay, buddy? I'm gonna pat him. And uh, him. Yes, you cure him of his poisoned condition. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it takes five lay on hand points to cure poison, I think. I'll just roll Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you. That means I can eat more breakfast! <laughs> I mean, like, they're still <laughs> serving, so... You're cool! Next time <laughs> as he, like, as, as he goes to, goes to, like, run out the door... Wait a minute. I didn't give you a hug. <laughs> he immediately <laughs> rushes in. <laughs> you might want to start flying, dude. Just say uh, Okay, Ogilvy I'll... stretches open his wings. Alright, make a str make a strength check there, buddy. You got it. <laughs> um, ironically enough, this time he actually is careful. Uh, uh seeing that you're a bird, he actually uh does it break your spine. Uh, oh <laughs> I'm still However, uncomfortable. This is not cool. I don't like that. We'll say, uh, you, you know the smell of, like, low tide? Oh, I'm familiar. When you're near a beach. Yeah, you're definitely, you're getting that smell mixed with, like, swamp water and, like, fish. Okay, I'm not a fan of the swamp, but the, the, the low tide's actually kind of reminiscent. Uh, you are now one of the bestest friends I've made today. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go eat breakfast. See ya. As he bolts out the door and oh, slams it shut behind him, he kind of stumbles a little bit. That <laughs> that was Colmos. Oh my god! He, or whatever clerical deity we have. He's Bahamut. Bahamut. Bahamut says. Bahamut. <laughs> dog. Oh my dog. <laughs> Yeah, the pel the that, pelican that's... just looks over at the party like uh just kind of looks dead inside. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. I both he's, he's... I both don't want that to happen again, but also was a little intrigued. Are they your are they your druid? Are they Yeah, that's cool most. He is a yeah. very good druid. He he's sort of the groundskeeper like if if we're all like off somewhere cuz uh we, there's another druid in the party, so... But, like... Um, Is she sleeping? He flood, uh, she's busy right now. Yeah. I, she's, like, doing I, things. I'm mildly raining. concerned if your current druid doesn't know not to touch brightly colored frogs. He's like a wa what? We'll have to... <laughs> we're still teaching about... We're still teaching about land stuff. Yeah, he's not from... He f he did flood the entire greenhouse. In most hey there, areas. kid! What the heck? <laughs> what? Did, did, did Cobalt walk, 
Did Cobalt walk back in with, 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 with food in his mouth? No, Col no Col <laughs> you can hear Colmos off in the other building, apparently <laughs> giving hugs. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to meet new people, and he's very good at hugs. It's just... Maybe, uh... Odge, if you don't want them. Or, like... Yeah, Ogilvy starts hopping on this thing. What, is this a wall yeah, ledge? That's like a fence post. A yep. He's on it. <laughs> yeah, this is all like an open greenhouse, and these are just like fence kind of barriers. Cool. cool. Does that that mean, he, okay. Over. Does that mean he can be right here? Uh, that's actually proper wall of the greenhouse. Um, yeah, that's, oh, glass. Like, that's, that's, like, that's like the glass like bay windows, essentially, okay. into the, in the greenhouse. I see. All right, I'm right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just precariously uh, balance yeah. on the fence post. Komos is a, is a good friend of one of our other druids who recently split from the party to, uh, do you work at the Beast Beast Hammers Guild? Beast Masters, Masters Guild. Guild. <laughs> yes. Me? No. I'm more about open things. I don't know what that means. I don't either. <laughs> you know, like, open! No he opens up his wings. Open! Wide! So open! You, cool! So you don't like hugs or buildings? I'm just, is that...? Yes. I don't like hugs and I don't like buildings. Huh. Are you okay with your with your room being inside of a building? Well... I guess I have to. I mean, we can move it outside! I, I think, like, like, we have big trees and, like, a roof. We'll have to oh, talk to somebody just... that... Well, you can move it I outside. I just realized they have to move into Rosia and, and Lumafarn's room. No, we have we have more room. Oh, no. we have oh, oh no, 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 no. We, we have room. We have, we have room. We, have, <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have spare rooms, right? Nature, we have spare rooms, right? Come on. Uh, not many. <laughs> There's like one. That's that's He's not being treasure. occupied at the moment. There's treasure in the sand. There's treasure in the sand. Okay. Did well, Lumafarn not take the treasure rooms. with him? Let's see what kind of rooms these are. You said that they used to belong to people. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Did Lumafarn not take his stuff with him? Yeah. No. I feel dumb. <laughs> Lumafarn kept his sand collection at the place. Yes. I'm being told did. from okay. the source. Yes. <laughs> I, I I heard them in the background. Yes. <laughs> Oh boy! Can <laughs> no, come back? Where where are these rooms again? Og Ogilvy's already leaving. What's his radius? <laughs> What's his radius? Sorry. Yeah. Ogilvy knows what the crystal does. Oh, okay. Uh, as basically when the when the one installed in the OAC, as long as you are within basically the town limits, you will be fine. Wait, I'm going. Where are these rooms? Hang on, hang on, we'll lead the way. They're, they're, up, they're upstairs. He starts pounding on those pumpkins as he walks by. Do, 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 do. Uh, while they uh, move away, Nari will just be like, uh, if there aren't rooms, I am fine with staying here in this garden, if that is okay. I, I do actually need to stay away, so like, this is <laughs> much better. Coma so you hear muffled from the other side of the door. Uh, well, first off, the, the rest of the party sees Como's coming back. Uh, with a, it looks like a large, just bowl of nothing but grits. Uh, that he seems mm. to be just like grabbing handfuls and smushing into his mouth, into his salmon <laughs> mouth as he walks past. And uh, as he gets up to the door, did someone say roommates? As he slides open the door with the bowl. <laughs> oh my god, they were roommates. Oh uh, god, no. <laughs> they can make a pile of mud for you, give me a sec. And is he just puts down the bowl on the fucking, just on, like, the, the freaking walkway, and immediately jumps into the water like a fucking fish. God. Nice. Bromance <laughs> time! We got another bromance. God. <laughs> we lost no. one bromance and gained another one. I, After, like, a I few minutes, he, like, slowly the pulls the bowl of grits into the water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this would actually be better than a a room in a building for me. Okay, okay. We can, uh, yeah. You can live here if you want. Uh, if you need any, like, pillows or, like, 
furniture. She just like sure. looks at looks at you like really. I don't know. I I'm confused. I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. I don't know if you need like places to put your stuff. You have a lot of things in that bucket. If you want like shelves. I don't need most of these things. I'm gonna be honest. Um, maybe you should sure, nice go bucket. look at the flying one. Uh, I think they're probably trying to steal something right now. Ooh. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Oglavy? Yes, I think that's Where, 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 did, where did he go? Vigilance is leading Ogilvy, like, <laughs> to, like, where the bedrooms are. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh god, where'd your tokens go? We're in the tavern! Oh, yeah, we're in the tavern. <laughs> oh, okay, over here. Oh, I can take you guys uh, south over to the stairway. Do, 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 boop. Yep. <laughs> ah -ha. So, um, there's a couple of spare rooms over this way, but you're actually, technically we're not able to, like, open the room unless, like, the person who owns the room is there, right? Or... Uh, it's oh, this, it, the, door, the door, the door, the door, the door, the door to your suite. Okay. Well, first off, um, well, well first off, Ogilvy, you, there is no, there is no, like, door handle. Okay. On this door. Uh, oh, my yeah. bad. Basically, uh, but yeah, Vigilance, to get into the suite, one of the, one of the owners needs to basically, you know, put their hand in there for the scanner. The, the individual doors themselves... Uh, they they can be these can be opened by you know anyone inside. Okay. Well, unless you lock them, unless you lock them. But <laughs> all right. So so, bit... so basically, <laughs> you need, yeah, you need to get Ogilvy and Nari's uh, basically their fingerprints scanned into the door. Do I have fingerprints? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> fingers. I guess that's true. I do have fingers. They're yes, just hands, so yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, well, I mean, you have proper like claw hand fingers, so that's right. Yeah. That's right. Birds' footprints are also their handprints. Hmm. Yeah. Either way, uh, pres presumably vigilance. You <laughs> let them inside. Also, the music stopped. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Apparently, Chip does not want to cooperate, even though it says it's playing music. It's because you're not letting him sing shiny teeth in me. Well, if I, well, if I, well, if I put that one on, we get DMCA'd! <laughs> oh, I can't sing it either. Well, I don't, it's a good question. I don't know if we'd get, I don't know if we'd get copyright struck if we... I mean, Twitch, Twitch has a new thing where, like, they give you, like, a warning before they actually, like, yeah, the they, down, so, like... Yeah, they've, they've yeah, started doing know. that. They, they've started doing that. I got an email about that, like, the other day, so... Oof, fair enough. Either way... Um, and so far, the music's either, been fine. Mm -hmm. I mean, either way, uh, as you presumably vigilance open the door, you also actually see this blue tiefling gentleman uh, mm -hmm. currently holding basically a basket of laundry uh, as he comes out of one of the rooms. Gods, why we, why is he all, why why is he always have so much sand? At least it's done for now. Hey, Thomas. Oh, yes, hello. We've got... Uh, Yes, I heard we were going to be getting new uh, uh, bosses here. Uh, I did clean up both uh, Rosia and Lumifon's old rooms if you wanted them to stay there. Awesome. Um, so, I was I was actually just about to show th those rooms to Ogilvy, so... Right, yes, of course. I'll, uh, I'll get out of your people hair, yes. As he also, slides past... Oh, yes? Um... The Vigilance kind of like leans over and says, "Also, keep an eye on Ogilvy here. Apparently, he was a criminal. So, mm, can, I hear, uh, can I hear Vigilance say this? <laughs> uh, sleight, of, sleight of hand versus uh, Ogilvy's. Um, Is it sleight of hand? It's not dexterity. <laughs> oh, sorry, stealth. The stealth versus perception. All right. <laughs> I mean." <laughs> Uh, he was—he was like trying. He was like actively trying to. He—he's just kind of like lowering his voice a little bit. So, uh, so you see, you see, you see um, Thomas kind of give like a unamused, deadpan look over at Ogilvy. Noted. <laughs> Ogilvy did hear this. 
or he didn't hear this. Suppose I'll have to put. Uh, suppose I'll have to start tracking some items then while I clean. Noted. Awesome. I to, maybe <laughs> we should. Ogle, I, Ogilvy I'm, lower I'm, narrows his gaze. I suppose we should petition for a um, lost and found uh, within the main within the main lobby uh, to for any in case any items go missing. Mm -hmm. And and individuals can come back and uh, pick them up. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> and he just. Oh yeah, that past. sounds like a great idea. Good job. He's trying to clap, but. <laughs> yes, yes, <Yeah>. fucking bite me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Tell me. Vigilance is actually chuckling at that. <laughs> so. <laughs> And you know he walks down. We back can go. Down in, we can go in now. You yes. can go in now. Okay. <laughs> Ogilvy immediately starts eyeing these rooms and yeah. these doors. Anything he so, needs to know uh, about them. So, so Ogilvy, uh, presumably, are you showing him? Are you showing him everyone's rooms, or are you showing um, the just, two empty rooms? Just the two empty rooms, not everyone's yes. rooms. Okay. <laughs> Show him. So we have. So it's rooms. so it's these two rooms here. Uh, One is like okay. a giant is there sand pit. To notice about the doors. What was it? Is there anything to notice about the two doors? I mean, of these uh, two rooms. Not of these two, but you do notice this door over here looks like the the hinges are kind of like looks like they were bent and like trying to and like bent back into place. And like the wood, on, there's like a few cracks in the wood on, on the, this room over here <laughs> as you walk past. Okay, okay, I'm noting that. So uh, that's weird. <laughs> Uh, both these doors seem relatively unfazed and untampered with. Uh, they're both unlocked, for the sake of this. Um, Do they have handles or anything? They both have handles. These are these are like standard, you know, bedroom doors. Okay. What kind of handle? Are they the knob handle or are they the long handle that you just push down on? It's a it's a it's a circular like brass knob. Okay. That you just you know you you know you turn it and open both. Uh, so this one, uh, mm -hmm. you Wizard see there, there is, there is like a vanity, like, like makeup desk, uh, for all intents and purposes over here. You see bookcases, you see like a okay, very, I'm beautiful... assuming I'm peeking inside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. there's a beautiful, mm -hmm. like there's plant pots, you know, there's a very nice looking bed and like a, and like a love seat. Um, you see, there's a very, a, a very beautiful looking wardrobe. Uh, though I will say all of, yeah, it looks like uh, any sort of personal memorabilia or anything in there was actually taken out, like, you know, clothes, jewelry, all of that stuff, all the pers all of the personal belongings seem to have been, you know, taken with whoever left the room. He still looks in this vanity. Uh, you do, I was gonna say, you look through, you see, like, you know, bits and pieces of, like, makeup, uh, makeup pieces, and of course there's a pretty nice looking mirror, uh, as part of this desk. Okay. Any, any books in the bookshelf? Oh, plenty. There's a there's a decent number of books here on this shelf. Anything that Ogilvy will care about? Um, unless you start reading through the the, the labels or the on the <laughs> oh my on God. The, the bindings. We're not gonna do that right now. <laughs> yeah, like no, there's he's nothing just, that he's immediately jumps. At, yeah, there's nothing that jumps out at him specifically. Okay, um, he sits on the bed this... at one point. <laughs> and he's then... very soft. Yeah, and so that room... very so, warm and cozy. That room used to belong to Rosia. She was kind of in charge. And now she's gone. She's got family stuff to take care of. But anyway. Okay. Um, up here is... Sounds Julie like Barnes. a suspicious death, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... This one. So, this one it looks like the room is kind of split in half. Uh, there's the there's the the front side of the room, which you know there's like a nice rug, like ornate rug. There's a little like table and and a little table and and uh, chair that looks barely ever touched, <laughs> looks like and never used. Uh, there's a much more modest looking, uh, you know, um, not wardrobe. Wow, I literally just said it earlier wardrobe over here that looks like there's a there's a few clothes and and like b bits and pieces of personal belongings and knickknacks in here. Uh, nothing super expensive that you can see. Uh, though, of course, you do see, uh, for one, a large flat slab of rock 
in the corner that looks looks like they're like in the middle of it, sort of, at it. <laughs> sort of worn down and it looks like there's some co- some sort of like light or torch type kind of device over the top of it like a it's basically a heating lamp uh and then All right. right next to that you see it, it's about the size of a bathtub uh there is it's just a it's just a container full of sand with like little shiny oh. bits sticking out Okay, Ogilvy is definitely interested in the shiny bits in the sand. <laughs> Though he uh, is yeah. slightly con- he he's actually not that confused. That's a normal thing for him to have come across in his travels. <laughs> he's like, he uses, oh, boy, he buried treasure. <laughs> pretty much. I mean, that's how you buried your treasure is you put it in sand. But it's like how you kept everything like cushioned safe. I mean, whoever who looks like whoever buried their treasure here seems like they they got they they had the right spirit, but they kind of did it in the wrong order. Yeah, noticing like, a little bit here. Yeah, yeah, the treasure is in the sand, which is in the chest. Well, no, like I'm saying, that's how they would pack it. Oh right, well, actually, no, that is very true. Never mind. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's so, how they used to pack buried treasure. You would open the treasure chest, and it was filled with sand and the treasure. Though it also does look like someone was basically swimming in this thing. Okay, is Vigilance in this room while I'm looking at it? Uh, he's at least standing in the doorway. It's like, uh, yeah. Okay, so is, he wa- is he watching me? Yep. But he's also kind of, uh, he's also kind of like looking around, because he's like, and this was Lumifarn's room. What? Okay. Yeah. Uh, he was a druid, too. Um, I, How do you keep losing your druids all the time? That's kind of suspicious. He's looking in the box some more. Well, the Beastmasters Guild uh, needed him, so. Roll me an investigation check. I was also. Mm-hmm. I was also gonna ask. Uh, did did Lumifarm leave that one flower behind? That is a good question for Antlered, actually. Oh no, he would have taken that flower. He took it. Okay, never okay. mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, never mind. With that's an gone. Eight, um. <laughs> You're not sure whether these gems that you're finding around in here are real or fake. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> They're also covered in sand, so it's a little hard to appraise them. But... Why? Ogilvy finds that, because even in his travels, he's like, weird. All right. Yeah, so those are the two empty rooms. Well... If I can't sleep outside, I guess I'll pick the one with the nicer-looking stuff. I mean, that's what you want, then. Ogilvy jumps on the other bed again. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's a... It's very soft. Ooh, it's very soft. There's a lot of back support. Oh, yeah. So, uh... (laughs) So, so where? Oh, is is Nari still back in the greenhouse? By the way. Uh yeah, and, and Nari uh like oh, put she... her stuff down and uh, is getting getting wet for the day. Okay, he, so eventually he, he may, he may walk Sorry. after vigilance. So Nari's just there alone with Komos. <laughs> so very yeah. eventually, uh the the large salmon head pokes back out of the water. Hey, I made I made a I made a hole underwater for if you want to sleep in it. Hmm, that might be useful sometime. Right now, I just wanna... <sighs> Don't worry, yeah. I put it next to mine. So I'll never, so I'll never accidentally bury it. I see. Well, that's nice. What What's you... grits? <laughs> As he <laughs> pulls out the bowl, the now incredibly soggy oh, grits that he's still kind of like eating from. <laughs> um, I think I'm. Uh, I'm. I just had breakfast, but thank you. Hey, to what yourself. Do you Time. Exactly? Oh, uh, I take care of the plants, and uh, if we get any animals, I'll take care of them too. Hmm. That's I'm nice. really good with water plants, hence why I filled a lot of this area with water. But uh, I'm learning how to work with land plants. Turns out they don't need as much water. Yeah, land plants are very different. I'm used to, like, big trees, personally. (sighs) 
tool. Also, just like a nature person to nature person, don't uh -huh. touch brightly colored frogs you don't know about. Ever. Got it. He kind of like Ever. you. You know. You know the meme of like how how to talk to a kid, and like yeah. and like the the one where like they kind of like their hands on their ease, knees, like like leaning down, like and there's the big oh. no that you're not supposed to do this. <laughs> Almost yeah. is doing that position as he's like trying to make eye level with you. Good. With like a big I, grin on his face. Um, uh, Nadia is just kind of like floating near the top of the water, just like vibing there. He's he's like he's tall enough to be waiting in it, so like he's Maybe. he's just watching you as you float around. So you can't you can't hug all the frogs. That's very yeah. very sad. I, mean, I can. Uh, I'm pretty okay with hugging other frogs, but most. Uh, can you I mean, give all the frogs two hugs for me? Sure, I'll do that. Yay! Wait, I might be able to hug the frogs if I wrap myself in enough things! So I don't touch the frogs, but I still get to give them love. Yeah, that works. Right. I'm a genius. Like... Oh god, he, he's gonna become the swamp monster. <laughs> Hang on, I could probably grow more swamp plants. Give me a sec. As he dives back under the water and, like, oh, seemingly god. disappears. Amazing. Um, uh, um, uh, and she'll just keep talking. So, uh, uh, I have a bunch of stuff that I don't really need to carry around. You need a hunting trap, perhaps? His head slowly <laughs> rises back out of the water. What's it do? It traps things for hunting. Hmm. I shall have to, to experiment with this. Okay. Um, um, she's like now at the edge of the water, just like throwing um, oh God, stuff that is in her bucket. Himself. Has really uh, big teeth. Cool. Yeah. He, you know, he closes it and, and you know takes it. Nice. Got any other cool stuff? I've got. Uh, hmm. I need that. I need that. You need uh, rations? I don't think I can. Carry what kind of food are we talking? It's mostly like uh, dried fish, dried meat, lots of dried things. You're offering me dried fish? You <laughs> bet I'm taking it! <laughs> Reach out for it. It's not cannibalism if it's not the same fish, kind of fish. Fish eat other fish all the time. Yeah, yeah this just happens. Fish that's, just nor that's just normalized cannibalism. It's still cannibalism. It's just normalized. It's not. Sorry. It's like if a lion ate a tiger, is it cannibalism? No. 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 Exactly. So, yeah, it's different species. So you're good. Well, well, uh, what, what, what kind of fish is it, though? What kind of fish is, is, is the dried fish? Well, right? I was gonna say, Cuomo's a yeah. salmon. Uh, is is Cuomo. the dried fish a salmon? I mean, I've also seen eating salmon all the time. It's apparently people. Apparently, it's like humans eating. <laughs> apparently, it's like humans eating monkeys. It's weird, but some people do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why humans think it's weird. Apparently, monkeys are delicious. Yeah, I've had it. I would try almost anything. <laughs> God I damn won't it. try that. <laughs> Can I just say I appreciate the druids that aren't um, uh, 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 vegans um, a thing? Very yes. <laughs> um, okay, and here is. I don't need this at all. I sleep in my bucket. Why did they think I needed this? Anyways, have a bedroll. For sleeping, uh, bed. maybe you can. I wear can it. make this into a hugging outfit. Yeah, I thought so. I thought you'd say that. I need to talk to a spider. <laughs> he immediately walks out of the water with the bedroll and starts oh, walking no. and just leaves. Poor spider. And she will just like acclimate to the to the um, uh, the water here. Vibe yeah, it's. Uh, it's. 
basically its own micro ecosystem in this freshwater pond. Nice. That's kind of going around. I mean, there is still the pelican over there. It's just seems kind of staring at you. I stare back at it for like 10, 15 minutes. And then roll an animal handling check. Not say. Okay. <laughs> It fly, it like it flies over to like this post here, and just kind of looks at you. Can I just... Hi, can you speak? Hmm. What's that? Cool. Continues just waiting <laughs> through the wall. They're just swimming about. There is. There's a brief moment with your with your with your knowledge of animals and birds. There, it looks like there's a brief moment where it considers trying to eat you, but then considers nah, and then flies back over to the post. I I think when she sees that, she says, "You really don't want me to do that." Meh. Yeah. <laughs> I love that bird. <laughs> it just goes goes back to preening itself. Meanwhile, the rest of the party! <laughs> Kimis is probably, like, upstairs at this point. She was, like, walking upstairs to go meet up with Vigilance and the other guy, Oglavy. So she's probably, like, there at, at, at this point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she's looking- she's probably, I see, like, I see- the doors. I see Oglavy is trying to get into my room. <laughs> Oh, that was happening. Vigilance, <laughs> is your door locked? Yeah, should be. Okay. Uh, Ogilvy, if you try to open the door, it, it's locked. I have a lock picking kit. <laughs> but I'm right, but Vigilance also... is right there. Vigilance <laughs> is say, watching the, me. I'll have to the wait owner, until later. The owner, I was gonna say, the owner of this bedroom is also right behind you. <laughs> yeah, so Ogilvy is sensing this, and he's being smart. He's just looking. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's just a wall. No? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> That's exactly it. How is he? How is he? How is he so so intelligent? Yet uh, so stupid. I have been informed that there's supposed to be an egg. An egg? For the uh... oh yes. Oh, yeah. I almost totally forgot. Yes, uh, in the greenhouse, uh, there is also in in uh, this like flower like uh. In this flowery area of the greenhouse, like underneath one of the shrubs, there is a little bur there is like a little like uh, indentation in the dirt with an egg in it. That's nice. Egg is that? Not even like that? look at it for a while, just like inspecting it. What kind? What what egg is it? <laughs> Roll a nature check. <laughs> DCs for you might be a little high. Um. I mean, it's presumably some kind of bird-like creature, but you've, n you're not familiar with a, much of the fauna. I mean, you can at least confirm, probably not a pelican egg. Yeah. <laughs> it could become a basilisk egg if you put a, a cockatrice on top. Good. Or, no, it's a chicken. It becomes a basilisk if you, no, it's not a chicken, it's a toad. You get a chicken egg and then you have a toad lay it. I see. Something like that. I don't know. That's what anyway. makes a basilisk. She briefly Ogilvy wouldn't it. know that, by the way. That's just something I know. Yeah, I know. Sorry, Nari, she, you were saying? She briefly considers eating it, and then the, the things now wait for them to explain it. <laughs> That's totally fair. Good, good. It does look like this was very intentionally like a nest that was put here. I will say that much. Yeah. Makes sense. So. So, yeah. <laughs> What's the rest of the party doing? <laughs> Just looking at stuff. With doors. Uh, Kime, is your door is your door locked? Uh, let's say no. Just to be interesting. All right. Uh, do you try this door, Ogilvy? I do try this door because it's All unlocked. Right. All right, you turn the knob, you open it, and you see this interior. You also see a very beautiful-looking rug with a few coffee stains on the floor uh, that seem to be very, very vig have vigor very vigorously been tried to have cleaned up, and they're mostly gone. Uh, you see, a, a looks like a bunch of throw pillows and cushions on the top of this bed over here uh, that looks a bit unkempt. 
there is also like a shrine over here with a, a stone like statue uh, essentially ingrained into the, like the altar itself along with like a few candles. Uh, you know, it's a pretty standard wardrobe, a bookcase, and uh, oh, the other big thing, there's a, you know those like big like um, cork boards that they put in like teachers' classrooms? Yeah, I have one. There's a massive fuck off one of those on this side of the room with like papers on it and, di and like different pieces like and like connecting them with red string <laughs> oh in, in different parts. <laughs> okay, he does, he and has to look at that. It covers the entire length of that wall. And I, he's, uh, I see he's, he's definitely looking at it. Roll, roll an investigation check. Okie okay, doke. To try to identify what the fuck is going on here. Okay, so, I mean, the big thing that points out to you is that, like, five or six different, uh, each of the, the papers connect up with one large paper in the middle that just says in all caps, FAY SHIT. <laughs> Uh, and, <laughs> and uh, you know, and it's branching off like you see a bunch of names you don't understand, and like something with the forests, and like you know things not coming back, and expeditions, and like what the fuck is going on here? There's this is this yeah. is someone's crackpot theory board. Yeah, this is this is absolutely someone's crackpot theory board. All right, he moves from that, and he looks at the pillows on the bed. Uh, you see, a lot of throw, a lot of throw pillows, uh, and a lot of like, like basically like plushies and like you know stuffed animals. Cool. I want to investigate them. Any cute ones? Or cool um, ones? What kind of plushies would Kime have on their bed? Um. If you don't mind me asking. Uh, there's probably like this like. Uh, what? I mean, like, we're, we're in a magical world. There's probably, like, plushies of monsters. There's probably, like, this one, like... Yeah, there's ma there's plushies of magical creatures. What's, what's, like, a cute cat, like, magical creature that, that I could have, that I could have a, a plushie? Oh, you want a, uh, you want a Displacer Beast plushie? Yeah, I want it, I want, I want a Displacer Beast. You, you, so you see a plushie that looks like a black cat on the, the, the bed that looks like it has, like, these weird, like, tendrils coming out the back? Also, there's probably, like, some sort of, like, fairy plushie. Yeah, nice. there's like th that looks like a DIY one that was like that was like filled full of like straw and burlap, um, <laughs> with like a, with just like like a, a a crappy looking little like button face and smile. Uh, there's all and there's also at least one owl bear plushie. Ooh, and then the pillows. Any small comfortable pillows? Um. I mean, there's there's like at least five or six that you'd probably consider to be small and comfortable. All right. He does glance at the shrine. Is the shrine of a deity that Ogilvy would know or care about? Roll me a religion check there, buddy. You got it. No. <laughs> uh, it looks like a dragon. Okay, he doesn't care. I, I mean, want it's to a cool roll to nasty like... plushie or pill. All right. Is Kime in the room even watching? Did does she even know I went in here? I I just got to the floor, so I I, I think I see my, my. Did you close my door behind you? Yes. Did vigilant? I you don't did notice anything. I wrong. don't know I if Vigilance like, was paying attention. Right. In that I'm case, roll me. Vigilance. Roll me a sleight of hand. All right. All right. You just uh pick a plush here or a pillow. All right, I'm going to pick the Displacer Cat, and I'm going to pop it in my duster. All right, you grab the kitty whippings and uh, stuff it in your pocket. All right. Let me <laughs> note that I have that. And the cat's name is... Okay, so let me put Displacer Cat plus. And then the cat has a name? Uh, Kitty not, Whippins? Not really. I, I, just call, I just called it a Kitty Whippins, because that's... All right, that's so like, did I. That's, that's a pet name I've heard people give to a Displacer Beast. <laughs> Because they, got, they got, like, the whip tentacles on the back. They're kitty whippings. Yeah, you killed, you killed, you killed my wife. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. At least I've done one good thing today. Um, okay. All right. So he just very subtly goes out of uh, Kime's room and do then we, walked we over. Him? Huh? Do we uh, notice him? Huh? We notice him leave the room. Yeah, I'm. He's very. He's very. Tr he's trying to be sneaky. Can I roll for that? Sh roll me some stealth. You got it. 
Yeah, uh, so Kime, you look o you look over, you look back, you look over again. Oh, hey, there's uh, Ogilvy. Yeah. I'm here. Okay, yeah. real quick. So is the seven what I rolled? Yeah, no, the twenty-one. The is a tw it's always the first roll. Basically, like they didn't see you come out over the room, at least. I see. This is if you have advantage. Yes. Oh, no. Basically, uh, if it's just a standard roll, take the first. If it's with advantage, take the higher. If it's with disadvantage, take the lower. Gotcha. I understand now. Okay, yeah. Mm. So Ogilvy is just whatever. He's standing over by his door now. Yeah. I'll save you the <laughs> trouble and say this door is also locked. <laughs> no, that's okay. He's just chilling over by his door. Fair enough. Like nothing ever happened. They're like, oh, hey, what's up? I don't know what's going on. Someone's throwing hey. stuff. Hey, did, did, did you pick which room you wanted? Oh, yeah. I think this one. He leans against the door. It okay, falls open good. through. He falls in. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. I don't uh, know. Kime goes to help him up. But I think she gets confused over the fact that he doesn't have hands. And, go, and just tries to, like, I don't know if she, like, grabs a feather and just, like, what do he I? Has, like, he has like he has like fingered like hands on like the on like the 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 bend of his wings. Yeah, okay, the bend good, of the I, it's like I, cartoon bird hands. Okay, good. I Kinda. I was worried that there, 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 there were like Rito Breath the Wild hands. And I was like, like you, you know, like um oh what's the, what's the name of the dinosaur? Um, yeah, Arch like Archaeopteryx yeah, kind of hands. Yeah, that basically okay, it's good. like it's like a proper bird wing, but also like because you because you know bird basically a wing, the the wing is just one massive finger basically. Um, and then, like, the- and then there's just, like, two, like, uh, three, like, smaller fingers at, like, the- the end of the wing that can actually be used for, like, grabbing and, like, you know, manipulation. Cool, great. I, oh, yeah, you can- you can- sure. you can help him up. It's acceptable. He has the wings. I- 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 I wasn't- yeah, I was really worried about, like, does he have Rita wings? Is this, like, Breath of the Wild? I- I didn't know how they- how wings worked for these guys. Yeah, they're- they're not Rita wings. They're, like, prop- there's, like, proper, like, claws and, t like, talons at the oh, end of the goodness. wings. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, because Rito <laughs> wings confuse the Rito wings confuse the shit out of me. Like that, that's a feather. You can't hold things. With the... <sighs> Nature, mm -hmm. can you just pose? Okay, thank you. He's, uh, he asked uh, for Colmos. <laughs> 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 yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna help him up. Okay. Yeah, be, be careful. I I'm sorry. I don't I don't know if we shut the door properly. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm looking at- I love the Thomas <laughs> picture. <laughs> it is beautiful. Actually, apparently, hang on. I'm still waiting for someone to romance him. Like, please, someone do it. Like, it, it, it romance Comos? Yeah, it's not gonna be me, but like, someone do it. No. I, no, he reminds me of my like, first love. There we go. Now the music's working. <laughs> we need, we need. Hey, hey, hey. Um, nature, can, can, can you add an an, uh, an NPC named William Ash? Uh, I can, I cannot confirm this decision. Okay, dang. It, I was trying to make a joke. I don't know if Ren got it. Ren, I'm sorry. Wait, what? I mi I completely I said, missed I, it. I, Oh, I said that nature should should add an OC named William Ash to romance Colmos. Oh my gosh! Um, I, j I totally got it. I it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. This means nothing to me. <laughs> me just, neither. It's, 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 it's okay. There's a there's there's a person <laughs> whose whose name is Wilbur Soot, and his one character tr well. One of his main character traits is that he. Uh, uh, uh Wil Wilbur Soot William Ash. I see. He um, romanced a salmon. And they had a fox a child. Salmon. Don't question yeah. it. Don't question it. <laughs> Do not bring Fumarillus into this. Um, no, no, she's fine. <laughs> oh no! Oh. I wasn't even thinking about that! Speaking of which, actually, as you're just kind of sitting there, you do hear, like, scratching against the door of uh, Vigilance's room. Oh shit, Vigilance is gonna open what? the door. <laughs> okay, and, you know, open up, and you do see... Uh, a very weird looking fox. Uh, bright red fur as it like, oh. as it like scampers its way out and like, you know, like, you know, uh, 
adjusts its like fur and everything and cleans her, uh, presumably herself. Look, it looks to be a female fox. How can you tell what looks like a female fox? D do I need to go into the details? Well, besides the genitals, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, how do we know what the gender of this fox is? Did we ask? Fair, it? fair enough. Anyway, didn't have a gender anyway. She just, the uh, yes. didn't have a gender. She just likes that's, she her pronouns. That's fair. Oh yeah. well, then that's fine. <laughs> as long as we ask. Either way, I'm, you see I'm a fox. I'm being difficult. I apologize. I know. <laughs> I understand, but all I understand and fair, but also fuck you. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, so this fox is something we see too. Yes. Uh, yes. Let me actually also just grab their freaking. Oh, that's not it. Grab their token. Do 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 do. There she is. Yay! Oh, it's the smallest Nari. I was in there for hours. Vigilance, you hear that in Shit. in your Shit. head. Shit, sorry, I should have left the door unlocked. It's, he, he's, it's he's, fine, it's fun. I live. <sighs> Does any of us know this? Is, is this something only no, vigilance here? No, only no, vigilance. No, only vigilance I want to make sure. I want to make sure. Yes, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, and mainly vig uh, the fox looks over and looks up at the owl person that they've never seen before. Um, vigilance. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. Who the fuck is this? Ogilvy, one of, uh, there, uh, Ogilvy was sent to be one of the new employees here, and uh, is apparently a thief, so we're gonna have to fucking watch our stuff. Uh, from Marilis' <laughs> eyes immediately narrow as they Did look I into Ogilvy's. Did I hear Vigilance say that? He's saying it mentally. <laughs> Sing it telepathic. Okay. They're, they're I need to make sure, please. Okay. <laughs> so, like, so like the fox is just staring at you, curious. But then, uh, after a moment, the eyes just kind of narrow and look at you suspiciously. All right, Ogilvy narrows his eyes back. I can eat you. Please don't eat my fox. <laughs> she's mm. like not a. She's she's a. She's like a person. She just looks like a fox, so do, please don't eat her. It's like all right, <laughs> but only because I'm not like. Do, uh, do I just? Uh, like, like you know, uh, Fumarillus just turns to vigilant. Should I just show him? I don't know if I even. I don't even know if I trust him yet, considering the whole. I don't know yet. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like also scaring him might not also not be a bad idea. Scaring him straight into shape. You know what? Yeah, so long as it doesn't blab too. <laughs> Uh, you watch as the fox erupts into flames. <laughs> and, uh, okay, I don't basically, want to a feather. I take a step back. Uh, the fox, like, the, the, the body of the fox basically erupts up into, like, ash and smoke, and then coalesces into this, uh, feminine, uh, figure, which looks like, uh, this... <laughs> this like this like feminine wooden figure, uh, it, that looks like uh, it, it's all like transparent and ethereal though. Still, by the way, uh, however, it looks like a yeah feminine figure of looks like a bark and branches. Uh, however, however, it looks like each uh piece of bark across her skin is still like smoldering and popping and crackling as if it is as if it's like burning like a like a log thrown into the fire. Wow. It, and she stands up tall, probably about, actually about as tall as you. <laughs> and she just looks at you egregiously and folds her arms. Ogilvy, after he takes the initial step back, he's like, wow. That yeah. was cool. She, she, she's basically giving you a look of fuck around and find out. Yeah, so like and I said. Instead, he's he is now giving her a look of, wow, that was cool. So like I said, don't fuck with the fox. <laughs> Yeah, all right. And that's that. He's just not going to fuck with the fox now. <laughs> yeah. After a minute, the, uh, the, also... the, 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 the smoke sort of figure basically coalesces and then forms back into a fox. And also, don't tell too many people about this, either. Aw. <laughs> uh, why? I mean, we've all got... Why is it such a big... Like, why is it such a big secret? 
And we both thought they were secrets. And Vigilance is kind of like side-eyeing Kimi, like, did you really have to tell him that she's not a fox? Like, <laughs> The fox just kind of looks at you, Ogilvy, and just kind of cocks an eyebrow, like, really? Kimi's gonna, like, look, like, uncomfortable under the look, like, like, and she's definitely, like, <laughs> mumbling, like, how, how I, I didn't, okay. <laughs> Like he's he's not like mad he's not like mad just kind of like like just like oh, he's boy. disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong in this situation. I thought we were gonna talk about. I mean, I thought Vigilance that keeps it secret for a say. reason. He 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 didn't tell the entire party for ages. And... <laughs> okay, I forgot that it wasn't about my common knowledge, and I think he may have forgot at this moment. He has had so many conversations with this fox that he forgets that not everyone knows that that fox is not a fox. I like to think Nari is just like is just like floating on the top of the water in the greenhouse, like ah, this is nice. <laughs> like... yeah, Nari, Nari is just vibing right now. <laughs> so they're like, huh? Ha I haven't seen the rest of the party for a while. <laughs> I mean, to be uh... fair, Vigilance did say, "Why don't we let you guys get settled?" So <laughs> that's that's true. Yeah. That is very true. <laughs> all right, Ogilvy is like, all right, they're arguing. He just slips into his room. Like, alright, whatever, nonchalant. Maddie will be in the water for at least an hour. That's fair. Vision's kind of says, like, okay, Keymate, you realize that the whole thing is a secret for a reason, right? I literally forgot that we I wasn't supposed to tell him. I thought that I was like... I mean, she's like a... Yeah, no, I fucked up, I'm sorry. Please don't yeah, get mad at me. I... Uh, look, you technically speaking, you were you were with us for like less than a day before you found out. So like, it's it's all right. Uh, you hear from at least from Aurelis in a vigilance's head. It he probably would have figured out eventually. <sighs> yeah, I just uh, new people don't know if you can trust them. Like, <sighs> anyone else I should know about? Yeah, there's a frog person. Frog, frog. <laughs> Nari. A, a what? Uh, uh, the frog person. Oh. Don't touch. You're an you're an ethereal <laughs> fey fox. I don't know if it'll. Mm, just don't My... touch her. Just just to be careful. Don't eat her either. Don't like liquor. I feel like she's she's poisonous. Like <laughs> skin. Yeah, Komos tried talk. She, blink she audibly blinks. Komos tried touching the frog person. Tried giving her a hug and got poisoned. Started puking up everywhere. So probably best to avoid contact. I see. Well, even if I wanted to eat her before, I probably wouldn't now. <laughs> I mean, have you had anything to eat yet today? Uh, technically, I should probably go eat something. <laughs> she just, <Yeah>. like, <laughs> trots, up, trots over to the door and looks back like, help. Yep, Vigilance, Vigilance will go uh, open the door for her. <laughs> yeah, and she, you know, like, scampers off. <laughs> That's gotta suck, being an ethereal fey being, and you still need someone to open the door. <laughs> it's... It, it, it shit's rough, yo. Um, <laughs> so, anything else the party's doing? Well, Ogilvy will now look through his things and see if there's any good hiding places. Well, there's under the bed, there's in the wardrobe, there's, you know, there's... Like there's, there's plenty of compartments in like you know the uh, the the makeup box and like vanity yeah. over here. Uh, All right. There's the He's gonna take his like... spoils and hide them. His what? Sorry. His spoils. Ah yes, gotcha. And he's going to hide them. In let's see, can you see me click here? No. Yes. Uh, put so you're putting it in like here. Yeah, right behind the wardrobe in that corner. Ah, gotcha. All right, in that case. Uh, roll a stealth, a uh, sleight of hand check for me to see how good you are at hiding it. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In my notes, I'm going to put that he hid them. That way they're not right, on right. his person. Okay. So you put away the hilt and, um... <laughs> the rose gold necklace and the displacer cat book. Gotcha. There. In my notes, and, they are not on his person. Say, and you're keeping the sword handle? Uh, also hidden. 
Okay, all right, gotcha. For now, it's hidden. He right. needs to as long as you at least like, log that somewhere that you know it's hidden. Yes, I, in parentheses in my notes, I just put that I that they are hidden. They are not on him. They are not on his person. Gotcha. Freaking. Why is Chip not cooperating today? I I have the album on Spotify, so if it's not working, I can always play it for the. There we go. No, if I need to keep if I need to keep resetting it, it's fine. Okay. But it's weird. It's weird. Chip's being weird. Anyway, sorry. Is there? I should say, is there anything else uh, in terms of touring the place that you would like to do first before anything else? For Ogilvy, I think right now the he uh, would want to explore outside more than just inside. Mm -hmm, that's so he, like. he's good until we move on, I think. I guess I was mainly like, uh, are, are we gathering the party together to do anything related to plot things? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I need to go to the bathroom really bad. So okay, I, I mean, if we... I was, hmm. Yeah, I was hoping that we could, we could take a break soon. That's fair. I mean, uh, I mean, technically it is almost eight, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, unless, unless everyone else is up for going longer, that's up to you guys. Yeah, I'm good for longer. I'm good for longer, but I'm fle I'm very flexible. If everyone says no, we're tired. I'm good with stopping. Yeah, if everyone says no, like let's I said, keep it's going. A, like I said, it's I up to you way. guys. I'm willing to keep. I'm willing to keep going, but I mean, I can go either way. We can take a quick break hey, here. The... Yeah, I, we... I think I might. I think I might have to go for dinner. Oh, with my parents. So. Oh, I, mean, I was gonna say yeah. like. Uh, would you be able to come back afterwards, or...? Maybe? I don't know how long it'll take. That's your fan. I mean, I... Hmm. Because I get some book, but for, like, I'm... If we want to call a break here, and, like... <laughs> And just chat, and then obviously we can we can get an up uh, Golfy if you could just update back and say like, hey, I mean, I'll be coming back in a bit, or hey, I won't be able to come back, and then we can just say on stream like, hey, you know, the session's ending here. So if we if we want to just okay. take a quick bathroom break, I'm taking for a break. Everyone. Quick bathroom break. I've also been Andrew. told to check the the Twitch chat. Yeah, yeah. Check antlered... your water and drink some legs. Yeah, during the um, apparently Antlerd wants me to do some sort of voice impression. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. I, I forgot about your, your Twitch rules. All right. Yeah. And that's in that case, I'll put up the break music. All right. Where am I? In, where Where is that industrious ferret? <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. We We could go to break now. Yeah, I can. While I'm doing this, that's fine. I I'll, 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 I can like do some sort of voice impression right now. I don't even know what impression I should do. Do it. What what should what should I do? Uh, I don't know what you know. I mean, I mean, I can do a Mickey Mouse impression, huh? Oh God, that's not out of all the impressions. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's the first one that came to mind. I use Thanks, my power I... to now invoke you harass nature with the Mickey Mouse voice. <laughs> Thanks, I fucking hate it. I gotta do a Twitch chances. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding an extra zero to the boss's hit points. I'm sorry. <laughs> there we go. Hey guys. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Golfi is not actually going to be able to come back after this. So I suppose uh, after uh, the the uh, Nari, the Grung Druid, and Ogilvy, the Noctura Rogue, settle in and uh, start stealing things, apparently, uh, and getting accustomed to their surroundings, that is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Yep. So let me go ahead and see. It was, it was a bit of an, sorry, it's a bit anticlimactic of a ender, but you know. Wait, wait, hold up. So is Ogilvy a pirate? Hang on. Apparently. I'm gonna see if I can raid somebody before uh, the stream properly ends. Uh, yeah, that's and um, you know what? John Madison is live. I could raid John Madison, oh. the guy from the guy who doesn't like musicals and um, a lot of Star Kid oh, productions. Right. Who wants to? Who wants sure. to raid John Madison? Sure, hello, why, why the hell not? All right, ready? I'm gonna start the raid. 
All seven of us. Raid, raid, raid. All, All right. seven of us, yes. All right. So I will see you All guys eight, soon. Eight, nine. There's nine of us so now. Farewell.